there's no discussion, can I have a motion on the uh, minutes? I'll make a motion to move the minutes. As presented? As presented. It's moved. Is there a second? I'll second it. So the minutes are before you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm going to Opposed? I wasn't an extension, Extensions? Right. So. Three, three zero two. One, two, three, four. I four, said four, two. Four, zero, two. Four, zero, two. Okay, we were, Kevin was going to be in here tonight, but Kevin called this afternoon and, and told uh, Brenda that he was ill. So he was going home and running a fever and couldn't I, be in. So. Actually, he went home yesterday. Oh, yes, I think he was sick yesterday, he, and he just said this morning that he was over 102, um, so he would not be coming. So we don't have Kevin. So. The number of budgets that we have are pretty short. Uh, let's quickly get down through these and then we can take a look and, and see if there are some that uh, contracted services. Uh, Wendy has asked that we hold off on voting the contracted services until she can be back, which is next week. And the same with the planner position and the, and the uh, planner position expenses. Any questions on any of those that you want to? Do you want to look at the contracted services analysis that I did and put in all of your boxes? Oh, here we go. I didn't get it. Well, it's, it's in your box. I just, was it attached to the financial statement? No. Nope. It was a separate sheet that I had put in last week. Last week. The analysis it just says analysis on top of the sheet. Yeah. Analysis of contracted services. Oh, it's the one it was, that's not. I thought it was a regular budget sheet. What's the yeah. number way then? 20, 159, I don't know if you wanted to go over that tonight or if you wanted to wait until Wendy's here, but. I don't have it for some reason. I'll make a copy. If you don't mind, it's not in color. Or, you want it in color? I don't, no. I don't think any of them are in color. I, don't care. I just printed them in black and white, I think. Didn't I? Oh, did I? Oh, I did print it in color. Huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. How come I didn't say analysis, but it's dated the 21st? Mm -hmm. It'd be that sheet. One, two, three. Serious. <laughs> what? Don't waste that paper. I haven't got anything out of my box, so if it's in my box, it's there. Oh my goodness, these guys. Oh, you didn't get it out of your box? I didn't have time. Oh, I had to make copies of the minutes. So I had more things to do. Thank you. Yeah, this is the original. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How is the analysis different from this? There is a, a column for 2017 actual expenses. Oh, okay. This is something yep. we discussed last week, yep. Mary, when you weren't here. Yeah. That's um, the only difference? Yeah. So the 2017 actuals and the 2018 through today um, are, are shown there Very good. Very good. against the line items. So anyone not have theirs now? No, everybody had one. Okay. <laughs> they just didn't know where it was. <laughs> she was hiding in some place, right? In their hiding them in, in the in mailbox with your name on it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I figured they would be so anxious for it that they'd be all clamoring for it last week, so. Thank you. Any questions we can, I was going to say, you can, you can certainly 
Yeah, if, they, if you ask, have any questions about the actuals, I might be able to speak to them. Um, and if not, then she can at least uh, talk with Wendy when Wendy gets <coughs> right. so okay. that Wendy will know what we've. On the consultants? Yes, for last year. Did we get a transfer to that, or, or is it? We did last year. Yeah, and much of that was uh, Wendy's fee for um, coming in and helping Doug and then helping with the um, town administrator selection process. Okay. Now, where is Diana's stuff going to go? Isn't that going in that is Diane? Diana's would go under consultants, correct. So We have not paid her anything yet. You haven't? <laughs> she who, hasn't submitted a bill. Diana? Uh, Diana mm, is the part-time or or oh Diana Schindler yeah. yes. yes that's it uh, oh, she okay. yeah she's helping Wendy on a yep. consultant basis but isn't she a con doesn't she have a contract or something I, I don't believe there was a contract signed maybe there was I don't remember for sure uh, you know what there had to have been but yeah. I don't I don't remember <clears throat> And I don't remember the details. Because oh. that seems awfully low for the... Well, that's because in 2018 we had no idea when we put that budget together that oh, we would okay. be hiring a consultant. So actually, um, I gave Wendy a figure of what would be left in her select board staff salaries account that wasn't being used for staff. Okay. And she will request an appropriation transfer when that time comes um, okay. to be able to pay for that. The uh, soft right figure, that's, that's an annual, that's a contracted amount, right? Yes. Okay. Both the 40, Down under. Right. where it says contracted services, uh, yeah, annual that, fees. Mm -hmm. uh, so the 46787 is the actual, what we'll actually spend this year. In fiscal 18, correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fur clock emergency communication system, we just haven't paid it yet. I trust. Well, That's you know, why it's zero. You know uh, it isn't that we haven't paid it. I found it. The police paid it out of their budget. <laughs> you, you sorry. Were, so we sorry, Brian. You were supposed to go like this. <laughs> so <coughs> we're just going to leave it there because John took it, and we'll just see what happens. Well, now we. <laughs> so where where is that on here? That's um, towards the bottom. It's uh, under the annual fee assessment, the FERCOG emergency. Okay, so emergency. the police software that's out. Right, that's yeah. The police software that came out of the budget in fiscal 18, we, we uh, let them have that. So, the uh, FERCOG uh, emergency communications, which one are we looking at? That you the one for 5200 emergency communications system. Yeah, I think it was actually a little bit more expensive than that, but okay. I can't remember 52 something. But And the uh, so-called Access GIS. That is, that will be a new, um, oh, so for fiscal 18, I don't know where that's at or when that gets paid. Okay. Do you know anything about the Siemens contract? Have we? Enough to dislike it. Okay, uh, but have we received any funds from that at all? <laughs> No. I, the, according to them, yes. They put together a, re, a, a thick, detailed report that nobody can understand um, in early spring, and then they go over it with the uh, town administrator as part of their obligation to make us keep paying them for the 20-year contract. What's the landfill solar services? I, I'm just, where I'm looking at, what I'm the wondering, landfill solar what, services. what I'm wondering is if it should go by capital improvement planning. No. This because. is um, the services of Beth Greenblatt or somebody like her to figure out what the heck is wrong with our solar um, array and fix all the problems that we have. I, I don't know all the details, but it was something that had been discussed with her and actually a contract was drawn up a couple years ago um, that I wouldn't sign because I wasn't sure where the money was coming from. And apparently we'd had a meta grant or a meta grant. Yes. And then that um, 
expired and they renewed it for one year and it expired so they told Wendy that it was not available anymore for that. But what's, what needs to be fixed? Nothing. What I don't know. Is she's going to review proposals from private entities to put solar panels on our landfill. We're hiring her to work for us as an intermediary. For new solar panels? New that you go oh, to okay. I thought this had to do with something that wasn't working properly up to this no, point. No, that okay. should go to capital improvement as far as my understanding of the bylaws for capital improvement. Consultant? The soft costs associated with capital items yep. need to go to that committee. Okay. okay. The soft items do? Yeah. Hmm. That's a good idea. That's the way I understand and the And the question is, why is it 12-5? And do, that means we must, that's what it was before? And Wendy emailed her and asked what her fee would be, and she said 12-5. Okay, so. What do you think? This is a service we'd have a fee for. Request for proposals, or fee for service. Or, you know, Pardon? We'd have to go out the bid for this. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> well, I'm not, I, at this point, I don't think, I don't think you have to go out for bid. I think you have to request go our, with the best. You, uh, I don't solicit, remember the so I don't remember the dollar the do, dollar threshold, yeah. but yeah. because they changed that with the modern uh, municipal yeah, modernization. Bill. The solicitation. So what's the name of the girl? Beth Greenblatt. Solar yes. system in okay. itself. going to cost us money. Okay. Yeah, wouldn't, they, wouldn't, they, wouldn't they have to approve? It is to him. <laughs> hey, under 70. I guess we'll see when he comes and we talk yeah. about it. Does it show on his form how much money is coming in from FCAP or from. Uh, that That's in our income, that's in our local receipts. Um, so in your, uh, I, I don't remember, I think we've taken in, I don't know, you can see it on your revenues um, in your monthly reports, but I did not bring that out with me. So that's in the, uh, the fees. 130000 150 is that what we're looking at next year is 150 yeah. but that is that the only thing that's in that line oh no okay mm -hmm. <clears throat> so when we take 80 out of the 130 is that what we're doing the fcat funding for uh 19, yeah eighty thousand dollars out of our revenue oh my god 130,000 we have anything planned for the 50000 remaining? Well, there's a lot of fees that we take in. I don't know, I don't know what those all, I, I don't have okay. that off the top no, of no, my no, head. No, 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 that's fine. Um, so. But the money we get from Comcast is dedicated to specific purposes. Correct. It's intended, it's intended to pay for the FCAT funding. It generally will be a few thousand dollars more than what we pay. Um, I would assume that covers you know, our administrative costs yeah. and other things. I apologize, I was looking at something else when you started discussing the revenue. Is it on the revenue detail? Yes. Mm -hmm. Down near the bottom. Does it's it under fees. fees. Fees, it says including PEG access. Oh, got it. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Thank you. Yeah, I should say it just includes PEG access. It's for all those for 17, 18, and 19. So then we make money on it. The whole $150,000 um, is not, it's not, there are other things other than uh, yeah, FCAT. Other things in there Correct. besides FCAT. <clears throat> okay, includes PEG access. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Any other? Questions for Brenda on the contract and services? We're going to discuss it. We're going to wait till Wendy comes, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. 
<coughs> so are we going to transfer any of that money from the PEG account to offset this budget? No. It, it goes into our general fund revenues, and then it comes out as an expenditure to FCAT in our uh, I see we transferred some in 2016. In 2016, we still had a, a revolving fund right. set up for FCAT. So it was a completely different situation. And so um, when DOR um, started requesting that we either make it an enterprise fund or <coughs> something else, Doug made the decision to bring that into the general fund. So we, we collect the revenues in the general fund now, and we um, have the expenditure out of the general fund. And that started in fiscal year 17. Not that I want to repeat myself, but I still think we need a contract. Okay. You're talking to the wrong person. I know. I realize that. <laughs> I think that the microphone. Yeah. Okay. We're, uh, Wendy has asked that we not vote the planner position, but there's no reason not to take a look at Planner position salary and planner position expenses. <clears throat> the number is not just uh, one seventy five five one one zero. It's the it's the next yellow on the I think that would have been one of those that I handed out to you tonight. You handed it out tonight? No. Uh, no, to no. Mary and to John probably okay. Okay. because yeah, those it was yep, all right. We had it last, last week, week, I think. I guess I'd have the selectmen approved it. The position. They have. Huh? Mm -hmm. Probably wasn't unanimous. Right? <laughs> I said it probably wasn't unanimous, but they approved it. I made a request of Wendy. Um, I had seven questions I'd like her to answer prior to coming to our next meeting. One was uh, total cost of the position, including all benefits, all of the side costs. I want to know what that is on a yearly basis and what it's going to be projected for the next five years, including COLA and potentially a step raise. Um, what grants will be available for this person to write? Um, is there a list of priority items or projects that will, this person will begin working on once they're hired? Um, who has developed the list and what is the status of each of the items? Could this position become a 40-hour position? And if so, would there be a need for an assistant, administrative assistant? Um, will this person take the place of the bylaw committee? Will this person take the place of Pat Smith from FERCOG for the planning, for the planning board consultant? And if so, um, what will happen to the fees we paid her, they should go to the planner's position. So whatever fees they bring in, since they're not having to hire a consultant, all those fees should go to pay for the planner. Um, right, we, right now they're paying for Pat's services out of the um, planning board revolving right, fund. Right, and I think that's... But they're losing, I mean, that, that fund is, is diminishing fairly quickly. Right. But there are fees that they get every time somebody comes through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I'm curious. I had just one more question. Go ahead, sir. Um, the last question was, um, when will this job description be advertised? Where is the potential schedule for hire? And um, if the way I believe it's going to take three months to hire this person, two months through evaluation interview process, then probably give the person one month to give their current employer notice. That means you only have to fund this position for nine months. Um, unless you when started it May 1st, if you if it was approved <coughs> at the board, you know, the town meeting, I would assume they'd start on it in May, right? They would think uh, so you probably I'd say June first. Yeah. Wendy so, did give us a job description. I have it. Okay. Um, my only question is, why is she starting the step six? Step I don't five. know. Huh? Supposedly step I don't five. Know. 
That's what she told no, me. she's it's grade five, but step, step six. six. Oh, step six. Uh, yeah. Could you could you would you mind making a copy of that and giving it to each one of us? So yes, that, I'll be glad to. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, so those are questions that I have I emailed you to Wendy. Okay. Because she, she asked in our last meeting if we had any mm -hmm. questions to send them to her. Um, I felt that I should. You know, talking about a new position, that's got me thinking. I wonder how many people work for the town now compared to how many people worked for the town, say, five years ago. Well, it's a different town five years ago than it is today, same too. Same number yeah. of people. Same tax base. Same population, same tax base. A lot more work. And you do wonder about that. Well, and I guess speaking of that, somebody brought up that Montague had only five people, five yeah. people working in the office. Uh, there are five people office? alone that work in no, the treasurer, collector, town clerk's office. Um, right. Actually, I did meet with them today. Pardon? I did meet with them today. The town of Montague. I do have, I guess I didn't print it out. Um, with, in the um, select board office is one person is a, a administrative assistant. Okay. Planning board has a part-time person, three-quarter time. The treasurer collector has three staff people. Uh, treasurer, yeah, town clerk has one, mm -hmm. a total of four. Oh, I thought there were two town clerk people. No, one. People. There's a town clerk and, and a secretarial person. Okay. So the biggest difference that I saw, well, police had 16, we have eight permanent. Highway department was about twice as, maybe, I think it was 12 to our eight or nine. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest difference was in our overall uh, administrative staff here for the select board. Um, if the planner is hired, I'm sure that the planner is going to need somebody to assist that person. And Maybe we'll be in three people assisting a town planner and a town administrator. Um, that's my biggest concern, that that specific office <coughs> is, um, could be overstaffed. Uh, the town accountant in Montague, there's one person full-time. Um, health department is two people. So, I mean, with an eight or 9,000 population compared to ours, about five. It's pretty consistent, except for a couple of offices. And I'd just like to clarify that, because there was an email <clears throat> sent out by Wendy saying that we were passing on the wrong information in our meetings. And I think that was part of the information that people felt that was incorrect. But um, I did uh, verify those numbers today. We have a town administrator? I assume Montague, so. Town yes, manager? Yes, town administrator with one person. One person. The select they, board secretary. And they have a secretary? No, one. One person. One person. Town administrator and one person. Oh. Hmm. There's all the minutes, all the select board stuff. She works for the town administrator. Oh. And she does it in 37 and a half hours a week. I, I, I think I think it's it's, it's somewhat a, a little bit apples to oranges in that Pat also is the secretary and and enters bills for the highway department, the transfer station, the wastewater treatment plant, and all of the other boards. You know, so I, I don't know if you could compare exactly. Well, the highway department has its own person, but somebody does have to enter bills. I'm not sure. I didn't get down to task. Right. Um, but I. I I understand that uh, the planning department has uh, one person. Uh, inspection department has one person, one like person. we do. Uh, so I, I realize the highway department doesn't have an administrative assistant, and Montague does. Right. So. Okay. Now Pat does that, right? Mm -hmm. Pat, yes, correct. So it's still like to know the total count. 
I know, I agree with you. This year compared to five years ago, not compared to Modern View. Understood. Deerfield to Deerfield. Is that something that well, actually, we should ask we're down Barbara one. for? Pardon? We're down one because we don't have an executive secretary. That's now. what I think too. I don't. I don't know. I've been here only four years, so yeah. But I can't I can't speak to to that? I don't know of anybody that we've added in that amount of time. Actually, like I said, they've lost one. Right. Because they did. They used to have. They used to have two people besides the administrator in that office. And there isn't now. I mean, when, now when Diane Bernie was, was here, there was only one. Hmm? When Bernie was here, there was only one. No, there was, there was two. Pat and Casey. <coughs> there, were, Casey. There, were, there were actually three because Priscilla was in there too. At Correct. The time. And Debbie. Right. They all <coughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I don't think uh, count really can, well, I assume this is going to come up again. So. I mean, as far as I'm okay. concerned, it's a dead issue. All right. I, I don't need to bring it up again. All right. Um, Unless there's a need for more clarification. My, my only reason that I did what I did is because I received an email along with the rest of the finance committee members saying that we're overstating you know, without facts issues. Mm -hmm. And I felt that might have been one of the issues that was potentially didn't provide uh, facts behind it, just, just knowledge. So I wanted to clarify that. With that email, I think I think I'd like to uh, on Wendy's return discuss that a little bit more, I agree. Uh, yeah. so we can get a clear understanding of supposedly what transpired. Yeah. Uh, I'd be very interested in that instead of just receiving a vague email. Okay. Uh, can, if we if we're done, can we move on? We have the uh, you've also got the planner position expense. In there, just just for so that you can see what it is, and it's not elaborated. Just two thousand okay. dollars. So that's there. Uh, we have Franklin Tech assessment. Do you? Oh, do you? Okay. That came out tonight. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we we can take it up tonight. I, unless you really want the business manager for Franklin Tech to come down. I told him I didn't think it was necessary. Uh, and then it really didn't matter what we what we did. They weren't going to change their budget because of us. And Russ and Russ just laughed and said, "Yeah." So what's that? Eleven percent. <laughs> well, that's that's strictly uh, the budget is strictly a matter of of the number of students. students right. So you got better so, part of twenty six towns that are in the district. And uh, we've got one representative. And I, I assume every town has at least one. Greenfield has three or four. So you got a board with 20, 20 members. Uh, <clears throat> so the, uh, the uh, price per student has gone up, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, that has gone up, but the number of students is less. So according to this, the thing went down $33,000. How much it is per student? <clears throat> I don't. Um, I don't have that figure in my mind. Okay. Um, let's see if I can dig it out quick. No, that's okay. Russ, I, I Russ did indicate, indicate what the percentage increase um, was, and I didn't write it down. To be the honest. assessment per pupil for fiscal 19 is 18,246. And I thought, it, I thought I saw somewhere it was 17,000 something last year. Uh, but I don't. I don't see what last year's was. Ready to have us move? Hmm. You want to have it moved? Yeah. If you, if unless somebody objects to. Make a motion that we approve the Frank County <coughs> Tech Assessment, two hundred fifty-five thousand four hundred fifty-one dollars. I'll we'll second it. It's Aye. moved. It's seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I just, want, I just want to say that it, it's not a final figure. Right. It, it shouldn't change, but they have their last meeting mm -hmm. on March 14th to um, approve this. On the next page is Franklin County Tech. I thought we actually had a 
capital. So is that approval? It is capital. Yes, that's, that's the approved. Capital. That is the next capital. next page is the capital. That, what was what was the vote on the six zero? Okay. Uh, wait a minute. You abstain? I'm abstaining. Yeah, I I don't like spending two hundred fifty five thousand just because somebody else says we should. Okay. So yeah. five zero one. Uh, Franklin Tech Capital. Uh, I th I thought we had a capital budget last year. They they re-roofed and did some other things. That's what I thought. And, I believe uh, windows and things of that yeah, nature. Yeah, Roof and, and, and uh, whatever it is, we didn't have one last year. So this is the first of 20 years or something like. That. Yeah, the but, last but time we had a capital um, payment to them was 2006. Do you know what this is for? Yeah, do we have a capital there, budget? Uh, yes. There, there was a budget last year that they had, and I don't know whether we got a copy of their, their complete I budget I never did or not. see it last year. There was a lot of talk about it. it last year's budget? Yeah, but okay. I don't think we ever saw it. Okay. okay. Um, do you remember what it was that we were spending the that we're spending the capital for? I don't know that he even said so. Roof, in, windows, it was just an email that I got from others. Russ today. I think the roof and the windows were the were the two largest items. I think and there's some pavement involved, if I remember. And then there's right. pavement, okay. and and I don't know what else is. Uh, there were there, there were, were several there were a items. number of items in there. So is this fund figure that they have for our 20-year payment schedule? Pardon? Is this sixteen thousand? Our share of that vote. This is this is for the. Uh, this that, is not, not anything new. This is new. Do we want the capital this assessment? This is different than the regular assessment. Can get more information on this. Put this on hold. And get more information. Yeah, I'd like to see the total, we're, okay. whatever the budget, and the, the capital plan is, and mm -hmm. how we're assessed. It's, it's one hundred eighty-five thousand. Total is one eighty-five. Yes. What percentage of the operating do we pay? Are they, is it, is it the, same as, so, is the same as the assessment? Is it and Deerfield is, is we're assessed by the U.S. Census population 2010 at 8.02%. Um, well, I don't know. It has, it has to do with the equalized valuation, the, the population, all of that. So it came to the 16,500 out of the 185,000 total. So that's a one-time expense. No, hmm. it's one hundred eighty-five thousand a year for first, more. first for year years. for twenty. I think it's twenty years. And is our it twenty? Portion is that sixteen thousand for yeah. twenty years? And it will stay that way until twenty. The twenty twenty census what? is in. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I don't see where it addresses whether it's how long. How long of a capital? I think we should hold on. Uh, I agree. So it's one hundred eighty-five huh? total hold for, on. 20 for years? twenty years. Uh, 185 for this year. For this year, but it's not for 20, for 20 years. 185,000 for 20 years. That's what Each year, yes. 185,000 per year is what you're saying. Per year for 20 years. And our share is the 16. 16. Yeah, last year they had a list of what they were going to do. Yes. And that's about yeah. right if we're paying 8%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd just like to review that information myself before to me it's always before we vote on too, that. Isn't it? Well, it, it would de de it what decline. It's the interest that declines. Right. Principal, it's a constant principal. Well, we don't know and, any of that, so. Okay. Well, the capital, that's got to be both. I mean, total spending. Yeah, I understand. The that. total spending is $3.7 million. That's all I Mm-hmm. It's like a big park front, front, It's like just saying, okay, <laughs> Frontier Regional, do the same thing. Well, any backup? Nothing. Just spend yeah. your money. Well, there no, is. We voted the, that last year. We voted what? We voted to allow an override for Franklin County Tech School. The finance what? committee? Did? Not finance committee. The whole town did. It was a paper vote, paper ballot. Yes, that's right. It, we it, voted that. I don't see where we got a choice in this. You don't. We don't. Uh, if that's the case. So if somebody wants to hold it for a while, we'll hold it, and then we'll vote it. I, I don't just, care. I'd just like to see what we voted on. Yeah, I, I, think I don't think we voted on the ballot was last year. 3.6 million. Yeah, there was a vote. People had to come out on a certain day to vote for it, and it was Franklin County-wide. Yeah. 
And it was a two, two and a half. I think we did something else that we, day, we too. We ordered something for the Frank County Tech School. Okay. Do you want to fix the roofs? Do you want to fix the windows? Do you want to fix the paving? And then there were some other lock issues or something. I don't remember what it is. Hmm. But there was a ballot for it. There was a ballot okay. on well, we, we will get the We will get the information for next week. All right, what else are we talking about? Okay. Uh, if you want to take a quick look at uh, Public Works, Number, please. 422, four, four, four series. At, it's at the, the only town, thing. Town office building maintenance first. So uh, did I miss that one? Yep, yep that's 192-5400. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, Number 422. Town office building, 192-5400. Do you not have it, Mary? No. It might be in uh, your um, packet. Here. In your packet. Did you find it? Not yet. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't have mine, to be honest with you. We got that one a long time ago. We yeah. did. Uh, it was, that, one, that one was actually printed on December 27th. Yeah. I had 1226 on mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> me too. I must have had to print an extra one for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that I forgot. Maybe I forgot it. <laughs> Two sets of books? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. kidding her about it. That's oh. all. Let <laughs> yeah, me look over your shoulder. How much have we spent? So this one basically went down from $90,400 last year to $89,000. $400, so a $1,000 reduction. And uh, we didn't spend $25,000 last year. Could I ask you to make a copy of that? Because I don't have two, please. <laughs> then you have your Which one is <laughs> Which one are we Yeah. Um, when I spent less than $60,000. Yeah. Right. here. I have two questions. We'll wait for it to come back. Yeah, right here. Because none of us can enter it. There is a twenty-five thousand uh, dollar number in there for a church building. church maintenance. Actually, I think it was not maintenance. I believe it was for fuel. I believe it was what? I can't hear you, Bruce. Fuel. We're not paying electricity to maintain the building in its current condition. Energy. Energy. Not to do any building. Sorry, but the three hole punch in there doesn't work. <laughs> Thanks. No, so I you're out of luck. I don't know. If that thing's broken. Yes, it looks like <laughs> it. I think it is. We've only spent 37000 through February. Against the ninety thousand dollar appropriation. Well, against against really sixty five thousand because we're not going to spend the twenty five thousand. Right. That's out. You know yeah. that. Well, it's out for the time being. Uh, right. Yeah, we won't start spending that until we acquire the building. And okay, who knows when that's going right. to happen? So that's just going to go into free cash. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And there is the twenty five thousand is is in there for next year. So. So we haven't spent that yet either. Well, well so. No, he said have yeah, because the church is in our ship. Yeah, I'll bet we don't. We're not, so we want, if, I mean, if the church were to transfer tomorrow, I think we'd have a tough time spending $25,000 oh, yeah. on, oh, yeah, on energy, huh? That's okay, so we get it back to free cash. Right, but, but as far as the budget goes, they're over appropriate. Right, Unless we said we want to build a kitty in free cash. No, for this year we're going to budget twenty-five from July. Oh, that's the same one. So you, oh, that's right. I'm in the wrong year. I'm right here next yeah. year out. Yeah, right. And you use your, Works. you know, you use your best judgment and best information to produce your budget that you have available at the time, and things change. It's down a thousand dollars from the last year's budget. I just want to make mm -hmm. sure that yeah. that twenty-five thousand is earmarked has specific earmark. It is. That's why it has its own line. So it's just for 
Utilities. It's only for the church. Utilities. It doesn't say utilities. Anything for the church. Maintenance. It's, ma maintenance. it's building maintenance off, for the church. Money. But it's heating, yes. hot water, electricity, custodial, um, minor repairs, miscellaneous repairs, right. supplies, ground maintenance. Okay. All of the items listed above, <laughs> except for the town clock. Because That's somebody right. had asked Several me. people. Somebody had asked me during the year this year if we could use that money for a feasibility study, and yep. I said absolutely not unless we went to town meeting. It's made, it's yep. there for building maintenance. All right, thank you. And to use it for a feasibility study, we need an article on town meeting floor, or we need a, a spot someplace in one of the budgets that specifically says feasibility study. Does anybody know if we've spent $1,400 on the town clock yet? Can you look at that, John? Somewhere. Well, the town, town clock, that's electricity. But there's also and, the and, and, and also the repair. And the repair. So I know that Rogers came in and, and did their normal did. calibration of it. Um, he usually does that in November, December. Um, Is there a separate electric meter on that? Yes. If there is okay there is mm -hmm. all right what's your pleasure on town office building maintenance make a motion we approve it is there a second? second that it's moved and seconded any other discussion <clears throat> if not all those in favor aye aye, aye. 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 opposed abstentions six zero zero yep okay Okay, so then the next highway um, budgets are all under tab four. There's no change in the, uh, the employees. The employees that are there now are expected to be there next year. And the salaries that are listed are as the as per the compensation plan. Um, I have a question. Sure. I have a question too. Um, it doesn't list how many hours. Did the hours split between the um, snow removal account? No. No. So the hours are all 2,088 unless it states it otherwise. Well, the overtime, there is an overtime the, for each person. And in the there. overtime is, has every year been plugged in at 235 hours as an estimate. Um, some years we use most of that and some years we don't, just depending on, on what happens with, um, with, our, with our snow situation. So as, as we look at the highway budget, it's fully funded for 52 weeks, 40 hours a week, all these employees. So with snow and ice, uh, that is all overtime? No. So, so all of your overtime is in this budget right now. It doesn't okay. go into snow and ice. So snow and ice is, what's included in snow and ice? Snow and ice is just your um, salt, your sand, your um, uh, Subcontractor uh, subcontractors, correct, thank you. And um, High, like hardware, this hardware, uh, two thousand dollars. Yeah, specific for specific equipment edges, you okay. know that kind of stuff. So no no hours at all. No hours. And we spend we always exceed that. Yes, correct. And and in fact, we we always want to exceed, no, I understand it, that. but not to the extent, <clears throat> probably not to the extent that we exceed it. Correct. And if you notice, we have brought it up. Started at eighty-three thousand dollars. That was eighty-five thousand. It's ninety, um, and I mean, I've got a question here that I wrote down. Uh, should we raise it? Why don't we just raise it to a hundred thousand bucks? Well, when we get the snow and ice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe um, one of, one of the changes we made in 2017 was we started to put the equipment pieces, the hardware that we needed to buy, 
in here where we didn't do that before when we first broke this out we just had it as um, the rentals the sand and the salt okay. I know other communities and to be specific Waitley so I'm not questioning again um, they take part of the year and put it towards snow and ice total budget hours man hours and they reduce the highway salary budget by that amount We've, it sounds we've, like skip what you said you don't want to increase the snow and ice no significantly no. because we have to fund it every year well no what happens and correct me if i'm wrong the the, the snow and ice budget if you fund the budget let's say you put two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the budget and then for a couple of years, you only use 150. Then it comes back, and then the finance committee says, "Look, you got a $250,000 budget. You only used 150. Why don't we reduce the budget?" Well, we can't. We can't. You're right. You're so right. that's that's the issue of of not so, funding. Well, what we it. don't spend goes back to free cash. Yes. But it, we can also deficit spend, right? We can also deficit spend. Well, yeah. the reason for having the account is so that we can deficit, deficit spend, spend and we actually don't have to, on town meeting floor, cover the cost of the budget. It can be done in the recap process. Right. Yeah. And uh, we haven't because, you know, we've had, the, we've had the money in free cash to cover the, those expenses. Correct. I was just thinking maybe we could consider just taking the overtime I, budget out. The there, there is overtime that's spent on at other times of the year too. So it would be a matter of Kevin needing to keep track of what's snow and ice and what yeah. isn't. And I think that's maybe part of the reason we haven't done it up to this point. Yeah. Actually, Kevin said that it runs about eighty percent. It really wouldn't be too difficult if the selectmen wanted it done. Okay. And 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 I don't know if it's worth doing that. I'm not sure either. Yeah. I just look at no. But I had asked Kevin about it and. Yeah. Uh, because they, it'd be, I, I was thinking that maybe salaries were included in snow and ice. And if you go to work in the morning at 8 o'clock and the snow's at 9, now you're on, you're on the clock for the 8 hours. So yeah. you're, you're plowing it standard rate, right, not overtime. You might get overtime. Yes. You, you, only get overtime even, you only get overtime eight after, after 40. After 8 hours per day. Well, after 40, 40 hours. 40, week. 40 hours, technically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So it really doesn't. It's, it's kind of a wash, it. six one half dozen of the other. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I, I wouldn't mind raising it to, to $100,000 and, and continuing to raise it so that, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, maybe we ought to look at a percentage, whether it's 75% of the prior year or, or a five year, 75% of a five year, five year average, and put that into the, but, but something that more closely uh, resembles the actual cost of. How much did we have to transfer last year? A hundred and two thousand was it? Or mm -hmm. Was it two hundred and two? Yeah, two hundred and two thousand last year. Yes. Which is, that's that's what really set the. Mm. Oh no! It was a, it was one hundred and seventeen thousand that we had to transfer so last year. So it was two hundred and two yeah, thousand. Two hundred and two was the total. Correct. Correct. That's a lot of money. And and yet last year wasn't a, a particularly bad year either. So. No, I realize that. And that's why and I'm I don't thinking know if that of a better way to monitor this fund. Um, it just seems to be. It doesn't have any control set so on That's my opinion. There, there is hmm. no control. It's just the control is the snow. That's, that's the only thing you can control. And, you know, yeah. the control is... Uh, and the state telling you when you have to go out and yeah. prep and whatever else. I think right. he means there's no control in the spending. spending. That's what I'm saying. There's, no, there's nothing to compare the there's actual no, against. No. Just a concern. Because that this year we've already allowed... Um, the, to, them to exceed the eighty-five thousand. You, you don't have to. You, I think you don't they need, have to vote. The select, have the to select, vote. No, select they board. Don't. Select board. Uh, he needs to come to the select board and and ask to overspend it. I I don't know if that's changed, but but I we, we know we, he uh, did come to them a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we that. approved that town meeting three or four years ago. I don't even know if he has to come to the to the well, select. Well, he did board. two or three weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. We don't know the number. It's just that, we, that it's exceeded the 85 as of the date he came in, well, a couple of weeks prior. Mm -hmm. okay. Kevin's recommending going up from 85 to 90. Do you want to make a motion to bring it up to 100,000 or not? Not at this point. I, you know, I'll make a motion we approve the 90,000. Well, we go back to it. 
Okay? No. 423-5400. Any, any other questions on that one? Who, who seconded it? Nobody. I'll second it. Okay, it's moved and seconded. This is the winter snow and ice removal. Yep. $90,000. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? So it's 600? Zero, zero? Yep. yep. Okay. And you want to do highway salaries next? It would be fine sure. with me since there's not much. There's not much we can argue about. I may you not like it, but I, there's. I make I, a motion we approve it. Uh, okay. be, be, before you do, um, I'll just, can I just say one thing? Sure. Um, on the highway department salaries, uh, there is um, one sixth of Kevin's salary that's transferred out of here, and it's actually in the wastewater treatment budget. Yep. I didn't know if you knew that, but I wanted yeah. to make sure that you knew that that that's been something that the, that we've been it's, doing it's for here. years and years it's and years. It's listed on there. Pardon? It's listed, it's listed here. It's 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 you'll see it's a separate line item at the top. There's actually two numbers at the top that equal his total salary. Mm -hmm. That second line item is actually removed about middle of the way down the page. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah we see yeah. that. The thirteen thousand eight forty three. He's, yeah, well, he's right on target for the four hundred forty one thousand through for, through the end of February. All right. Yeah, well, pretty close. Uh, again, pretty it's close. that's the only thing that would throw that out would be overtime, and I don't know how he's doing the overtime. That's so, exactly. Right. Uh, all I'll right. Make a motion. We approve. No, that was already made. The dollars spent are. Like like I said, some years yeah. some years they've spent almost all of the overtime, you know, all but a couple thousand, and then some years they've only spent twenty five thousand yeah. of it. So, um, yeah, just depends. So, on could that. I? You made the motion. Is there no. a second? No, no. you made a motion. John. You made the motion, John. Motion. Was there a second? Yes, there was. Who made? Who seconded it? I did. Now. Okay. <laughs> so we have a motion. It's moved and seconded. All those in favor, $462,167. Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? 600. Okay. Uh, we do have office building maintenance. What did we decide to do on that one? We, we approved it. We approved yep. it. What was the vote on that? I didn't write it down. What number? Uh, 192,500. We just it wrote was it six, down. Six, uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, hmm. It was 600. Six zero zero. That's the first one that we did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to guess that we can, we will hold on the general highway expenses. Yeah, or, I'd, I'd, I'd like to have Kevin come in and talk about yep. Captain 90 funds too when he comes in. Okay. Okay. Uh, Where we are, what he can spend it on, what he plans to spend his money on. Uh, he knows exactly what he's going to spend it on, so yeah, yeah sure he can speak to that. Good to know. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of money, right? And I think it's about a million one eighty nine at this point. Yeah. Uh, the problem is if you don't spend it, then they'll start taking it away from you. Do they? Okay. They say they will. They threaten oh. to. I've, <laughs> I've never, never seen, seen them happen. do it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I had talked with Kevin a little bit about it, so he's prepared to come in and talk about where he's going to, mostly gonna, what, what he's going to do as far as repaving. Uh, that's gonna, can, the amount of money he plans to spend yes. on yeah. My understanding is he can use some of that money to buy new trucks, big trucks, just not pickups. Right. Okay. And, but that's not happening, I don't believe. And it's not happening, but last time we no, turned around right, and bought be. one, we bought one from... About three. One from the chapter 90, and then we bought one from the town too. And I think that's really kind of double dipping where they're getting a lot of equipment. And I don't think you don't have to go through capital planning to get that money from the chapter 90. Mm -hmm. We certainly didn't. And I, I, I think two or three large items. From, from my recollection of my discussions with Kevin, he has that earmarked for some, some big paving projects that we have coming up. So. Yeah. Um, I, and he can speak to that. Yeah. Uh, transfer station. Well, wait a minute. Do do you want to do you want to Kevin come in and reason? talk about the highway expenses? He's brought it down seven thousand dollars. I I don't I have a problem with gasoline and diesel. Everything you okay. says so, is going up. So you want you want? Yeah, to, he's brought it down. 
Yeah, I know. Everything I've read says it's going up. So how is he doing so far this year? Well, to me, if you have a big snow year, you got to use more gas than diesel. Goes in the. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the price. I know. I'm just I'm saying the price. If we usage, I don't know. I so no let's let's wait on that one. Transfer okay. station expenses. That's one he ended out tonight. Or do you want right? to do street lighting? That's the next one. Four twenty four fifty four hundred. Uh, let's take a look at transfer station expenses. If you got a question on that, we can wait. Is that the one was that handed out tonight, right? Uh, 433 5400 I don't know what it's Yes, that was handed out tonight. Does okay. it change? Yes, that was a change. It's actually decreased a little bit more. So the changes are the first item, payroll. That's up $1,500. Bulky items. That's down $5,000. Recycling, that's down $5,000. Where did I go? This is a really big thing. Hazardous waste is up 1000 Dump bags are up 2000 Other miscellaneous is down 3000 So the net is $100 for the solid waste. So and the net is a $13,500 reduction. And all of the fees that we pay... Um, Waste management for uh, the sixty-one thousand for the compactor, the uh, recycling fee, the um, solid waste fee, the bulky waste fee, scrap metal. All of those figures were provided to us by um, by them here just last week, week before. Who is that? Um, solid, solid waste. waste. They have requested uh, from the capital improvement committee. Uh, Trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh, a fencing, fencing for the transfer fencing station. Fencing was twelve thousand, but That's also a, good idea. A, a new also compactor. Also a compactor for seventeen thousand. Now, did they also request money to so that maybe it's in their paving so that they can change the? Uh, that was the entrance. Fencing. That's the fencing. Yeah, that's okay. within the the twelve thousand dollars. Okay. Right. Everywhere. Pardon? So the fencing has fallen down. Everywhere. Right. Yeah. No. They. That's. That's what they were addressing. The. Mm -hmm. The item is, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head, it was twelve thousand dollar request, uh, which, when mm -hmm. we report, and we'll have to talk about that schedule too. Okay. We were, we were talking about a meeting at five thirty uh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Yeah. And then. I, the school came yeah. through with a last minute email here for yeah. a meeting at six. So I don't know if we can still do that. Probably not, but maybe Thursday instead. Okay. I'll well, we can to, talk about it then. Right. We'll have to, yeah. we'll have to discuss that before we leave tonight. Yes. Right. Right. All right. to it is, it is, on, it is on the agenda. I'll have to get an email out. Okay. Yeah. So anyways, I don't know how that will uh, impact the $1,500 there. No. Uh, no one for the trash compactor. Copy? Uh, you mean the uh, sixty-one thousand? Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be huge if I remember right. Um, okay. Don't quote me, but I thought the compactor charge on each invoice uh, monthly invoice was about three hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Because they they had figured that it would be approximately about a four-year buyback if mm -hmm. we got our own compactor instead mm -hmm. of renting. So. Um, do, they, do you know if they plan to keep the small bags? They just put I them in last know. year. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I can't believe, I think I mean, they I have think, enough to last them for a while. Well, that's right. Well, yeah. And I can't see an increase of $2,000 in bags. Unless you're going to sell. I think. The small bags are more expensive. Um, Four years times the three hundred and fifty a month is sixteen eight, so that must be right because I think it's is it seventeen thousand that they they wanted for the compactor, Jeff? Right, seventeen if I remember. Yeah, so I think that's I think that is right. Uh, so it's forty two hundred a year. Um, uh, the bags I believe are costing us more than what we budgeted okay. in here. I think that's so that's so Kevin was just bringing it up to where it needed to be. Thank you. It, it was one of those things when I talked with Kevin, I, I, he had two or three things that he was bringing down. So it was like, okay, I guess I won't badger him about the 15,000 or to 17,000 on the dump bags. Since we did get 3,000 out of the miscellaneous. And people pay for them anyway. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. Ready to have this one moved? I am. Move that we uh, pass the transfer station expense uh, $174,000. I think got more questions. What do you have for questions? So through February. I'll second it so you can, you can discuss. Okay. Through February, he's heading to the good quite a bit of money. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. pay for all of the bags and the stickers in the spring, May and June. So he hasn't spent the money yet? No. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of what else <coughs> the two that right off the top of my head come up right. as being um, late expenditures. Why is bulky items and recycling down so much? In total, they're down $10,000. Those are the fees that uh, waste management gave us. It was based on what we actually spent in, I think, fiscal year 17. So, oh, so this is a pass through we pay somebody else? Correct. Okay. Thank you. I mean, people might not be using the bulk items. Right. It's pretty expensive. As much, yeah. <clears throat> you can get a better deal going to meet you. Pick up no, I was wondering why it was down. Right, so, so if they're using it less, then it's costing us less. Right. And the, the one area that where they have raised the fees substantially was pickup truck loads of... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah the, when you get to wastewater treatment plant, you've got an eye opener. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about the transfer station. Oh, you go in too. with a pickup truck load of debris. Yeah. It used to be 10 or 15 bucks. Now it's 20 or 40, mm -hmm. depending on the size of the truck. So those are up. So it may very well be that people are, are less are using it less. So 174,000. It's been moved. It's seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Six zero zero. Yep. Okay. All right. So the very next one is the test well monitoring. Number, please. Uh, four three nine fifty eight hundred. You've had that one for a long time. Mm. Yeah. It, this is this is one where uh, Kevin wanted to come in and talk about this one because okay. I had asked him specifically. You know, we the last couple of years you haven't spent, and at this point in time, last I knew, I wrote down that we had spent twenty five thousand seven hundred bucks. I think that's it at this point. And uh, he said, "That's true." We will be spending it, so I said, "Fine, you can come in and explain it to the committee." Plus, we have a new contractor too, right? I, they're hoping to, but I think for fiscal nineteen, they were—I don't know. I, I, I better not talk because I don't know. So we we're going to put this one on hold. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Street lights. Number. Oh, that's right. We did. Uh, Four twenty-four, fifty-four hundred. Four twenty four fifty four hundred. Looks good to me. Yeah, it's thirty nine thousand dollars. Make a motion, we approve it. Second it. Any discussion? No. Nope. Uh, we're we gonna look to go to LED? Are we looking looking at that? I think they are. I've heard some discussion about that. that. That's something that needs to go to the Capital Improvement Committee. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor, $39,000 street lighting. Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Six zero zero. And I'm going to have... Kevin, talk to you about the, uh, we'll see, where, where are we here? What else is next on the we list? We got that Board of Health expense Board of Health. that you tabled last last week um, from the change that the select board made. I don't know if you want to discuss that. Does anybody want to talk about that one? Number, please. It's uh, 512, 5400. <laughs> there, were, there were two items in there, if I remember correctly. Yes, you yeah. have the, the mosquito control for 11000 and then the number that they actually changed after you um, approved or recommended a certain amount um, was that they increased the tick testing from 1500 to 4000 at their meeting, the select board did. And the tests of ticks? 
Yeah, I guess it's the cost to, to test them. Next, it'll be fly. <laughs> and, and, and our last <laughs> meeting, we questioned the, the bounty for checks is less than the bounty. Whether or for not the insurance company would pay for the testing. Your insurance company. It's what? It was questioned last meeting whether or not you got a tick and you wanted testing. Would the insurance, your insurance company pay for it? Would, if you were bit by it. Well, that's what I would think, too. So yeah. Why is the town. Well, they're the testing testing. them to see what we have no, in the no, area. No, no, no. No. Actually, if somebody gets bit by a tick, they can put it in a bag and oh. send it to you last. We send it to you last for them, I think. Okay. So would you like would you like to have Carolyn come in and explain the budget? <laughs> you know that can I I'd like to make a comment. Last year on the town at the town meeting, there was a difference between the select board, what they wanted and what we wanted. It was eleven thousand dollars. It was eleven thousand dollars. We were going back and forth. Yeah. One of the members of the town, a voter, stood up and said it's only eleven thousand dollars out of a fifteen million dollar budget. Right. What's why are right. we wasting time on it? That's yep. correct. Okay, now it's year two, and it's 11000 Now it's $15,000. Yeah, it's $15,000. Well, I think this year we just said we don't have any discussion. We don't agree with it, period. We don't have to talk about it. I'd also like to mention that it, I wish I had done it last year. We got seven people felt 11000 should not be spent as opposed to three. Right. You know, I think that should point. have some bearing, too. Uh, seven you, heads. Seven heads are better than three, right? Do you, do you want Carolyn to come in and explain the budget next no. next yes. week? We've, we've already voted on the budget. I don't think we need to change. Joe. Okay. So, so leave it. Leave it at the. They, at they, the well, well, we're we're, we're going to leave it there. But if Carolyn would like to come in and, and object to leave our it vote, well. we didn't I'd be more than happy to have her come we in. We voted fifteen hundred for ticks, which we could if we, we revote. Right. right. And it is true that you can have your the tick bite you, and your insurance company will pay. For the testing, then I would ask for a reboot and take fifteen hundred dollars out. No, we can. Right. We'll invite Carolyn to come in, or the select board to come in, and talk about the budget. I I would ask Dick, but he's not going to be able to answer the questions that we've got. Right. So it would be Carolyn. Okay. So we're just going to hold that. Then. We're, we've we already voted the we already, we already voted, voted a budget. Uh, the question is, did we want to? Take another revote it, and not at this time. Uh, if you just want to take a quick look at wastewater treatment, the one that was handed out tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. There's there are no numbers on it. It's an article. Is it an article? Oh, I know. Yeah, it, it's an article. It, it salaries and expenses. Uh, the it's salaries are. Nine. Yeah, it's in, it's in. It should be in your uh, uh, section nine of your uh, budget. The salaries. There's nothing. There's nothing much in the in the salaries. They're reflective of strictly uh, uh, increases in the compensation plan. Uh, Kevin is going to come in and talk talk with us about it. Increases in the compensation plan, increases in the mm -hmm. county retirement fee. Yeah. Um, yes. I think that's fine. The one that I did want to point out was the uh, wastewater treatment plant expenses. And there's one in particular that, uh, just so that you can be prepared, Kevin will be prepared. Matter of fact, Brenda's probably capable of addressing this issue either. Sludge, transportation, and disposal. It's gone from 95,000 in the current year to 123,000 next year. Are those projected costs, I wonder? Yes, that well, was, they're projected um, based the on. That, that's a number that uh, Waste Management gave us yesterday, or a couple days ago, I guess. So there was an increase from Waste Management it's yeah. it's the cost the cost to haul the sludge um, is it to Lowell is that where it's going? It goes to Lowell, but I would like I'd like Kevin to come in uh, because he's he's at least has some thoughts about whether or not there might be some alternatives, but the alternatives require work on the plant or 
it still has to go there, but what th this is a very small percentage of the, the what's transported to Lowell is solids, very small percentage. The rest of it is liquids. Pull our dryer back up. The and and the is there a way of getting some of those liquids out? If there is, clearly, then even though the uh, the cost is based on on the percentage of solids, the number of times that you have to go to Lowell, that's where you would save. So they want to do one of the. the yeah. Solid. Yeah. So we have a machine that does that, sitting in the wastewater treatment. Idle, so just just so that you have the information there and we'll talk to Kevin the next time we meet whenever that is uh, capital the next one on the list is the, is OPEB funding anybody want to take up OPEB funding so, so we're going to hold on both the salaries and the expense yes okay. we're going to discuss OPEB funding I wasn't going to Oh, he's got a whole thing. Uh, the only thing that I wanted to do with OPEB funding was uh, uh, because there are a couple of you who weren't here last week. Uh, just have Bruce talk about, if you would. I'd like to talk about it too. I got a handout. Okay. I don't know. Did I get? Did you get one, Skip? Did everybody get one? I believe. I think so. I think so. That was the one that it was handed out last week, right? No, no, no. I got my own. How did they come up with a number of 35,278? Okay. 4% of yeah. the insurance costs that we had last year. So 4%. I, I figured it. That's correct, based on the policy. You get another one of these? Hmm? There's three sheets. Yeah, three sheets. They're all three different? Sheets. They're all different. Okay. When I have the floor, let me know. When you have the floor, are you going to stand up? <laughs> and do you want a soapbox to jump up and down on? Since before, before I turn it over to you, John, uh, Bruce was somewhat instrumental in coming up with a policy. So I was going to, or <coughs> you, you had some input into it, I guess. I, at the February, Eighth meeting, I passed out. I think it was maybe the eighth or fourteenth. Passed out. A, we were asked at the eighth meeting to come up with a policy. It was our responsibility as a finance committee to prepare a policy for open funds. Why, we why is it ours? Because we were told by the slot to the I'm just saying. As a, as a fiscal agent or the fiscal committee of the town of Deerfield, I'm not using the right words, but basically, yes. So you're telling us we're really important? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I took it to heart. <laughs> and now he so, cost us some money. So. <laughs> so what I did was I looked at um, the current year total insurance costs. And the increases over the past five years have been anywhere from three to five percent. So I took four percent and multiplied four percent times that number. I did one percent, two percent, three percent, and four percent of that total insurance cost. Um, I, but the proposal was to fund it at four percent or any percentage from one to four with the ability of the finance committee to reduce the percentage when they feel it was financially responsible for the town budget. But there was a limit and not not no, to go no, then okay. there was a discussion, email discussion, that piece of paper, that document, went to Barbara and other people. And Barbara emailed me and asked me to reconsider um, the motion to say that there'd be no less than 25,000. And I said, well, that's fine. That's what we thought about the first time, was 25,000. That was the number we had come up with. So I 
said, fine, sounds good to me. I, I thought it was just information that, uh, that Barbara and the rest of the town was coming up with a policy also. We were just going to advise them what we thought the policy was. That policy was presented to the selectmen. And it was indicated, uh, I mean, let's say it was, the finance committee, it was almost like the, this was the finance committee's <laughs> policy. Like we had voted on it and decided that this was what we wanted. And it really wasn't. And last week I made a clarification to the committee that it was not my decision to bring that policy forward as a committee was my personal thoughts with a discussion with Barbara and with, she said, to reduce it was not good language in motion. I said, fine. She said, 25,000 will put us along. I said, that's fine, sounds good to me. She then presented it as, I think, what the select board took was our proposal. And I don't believe it should have been our proposal. So we never voted on it, we discussed it. We voted there was, there was a lot of uh, reasons for it not being um, approved. There's members against it, voting for any money to be appropriate. I was, I listened to the argument that night, presented and thought, well, maybe we should fund it. It's better to spend free cash on that than it is to throw it towards other things. So I, I, come, up, I come up with an option for the committee, we didn't discuss it that night. We discussed a whole bunch of other things, and it ended up being the OPED policy that the selectmen voted on. So we send them a corrected one next week. Okay, so well, listen to John. I want to see that soapbox. Oh. So, so that's how that's how we we got where we are. Yeah, it wasn't. Right. It wasn't wasn't the four percent. Could have been any one, two, or three, or four. OPEP has been around for many, many years in the private sector. The financial accounting, I'm a, I'm a, it was a CPA, so I, I dealt with it for 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. And it's, and I don't think we should be setting a policy, and here's why. At least not this year. Um, all it does is bring a liability onto a balance sheet, and I made a photocopy of the balance sheet from the June 30th, 2016 town report. And it's the one without my ugly handwriting. And it's not on there. Okay, from the town report. So then I took the liberty, excuse my lousy writing, but, and it's sloppiness, but I didn't have the tools to make it pretty. I took that same balance sheet, and based on the Governor County Standard Boards, they want us to put an OPEB, which I wrote in there, and I'm assuming it's a million dollars. I didn't have the number at home yep. where it was. No, it's, it's a lot higher. far higher than that. All right, higher. so whatever, yeah. pretend it's higher. <laughs> but there it is. Now it's on the balance sheet. Okay, that's the only thing that's changed. We always owed the money, even though it wasn't on the balance sheet. Nothing changed. It's just now it's printed on there, and it changes what we have as a net worth as a town. Um, it's not like we didn't know it before, and now we do. We always did. It's just an accounting presentation. We're paying it as we go along anyway. We've always paid it. If somebody if we had to pay out retirement benefits, we paid them. Um, Rhetorical question, are we going to reduce the current payments that we pay now because we funded OPEP? Are we going to be using the OPEP money instead of current appropriation money? We don't know. Nobody knows yet. Nobody's made a decision. So what's our plan for using that money that we're funding? Since we're paying it, since we've, since we paid it anyway, and we always did, the only impact is how our balance sheet looks. It's, it, it impacts how a balance sheet looks to those that rate our bonds. We should ask, and I've asked this of Barbara, that we should call the bond people and say, what do they think? What, how's it gonna, if, how we handle it, how's it gonna impact our bond rating? So I don't think we should set a policy yet. One more year shouldn't matter. 
we don't know the true effect of OPEP on the town until we talk to the bond people. So I don't think we should be spending taxpayer money without knowing the impact or effect on the town. And that's my opinion of it. I think we should wait another year and find out what the impact is. Are they requiring you to put it on this year? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's been on there. Mm -hmm. But it's not on here. It's not, not on mine. It's on our audited oh, financial statement. That's 2006, since 2016. No. Mm -hmm. So there is something on the family sheet. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because we, we couldn't get loans unless they, it was on there, right? I, I don't know. It's just it's, it's a GASB yeah. requirement, so it, it's on there. Yeah. yeah, so it's on the balance sheet. Okay, whoopie do. So I'll just well, put, it's it's I'll, it is a liability and it is it is a liability and it is an unfunded liability. It is an unfunded liability. We we also have someplace along the way an unfunded uh, pension liability also, but that's taken care of. We don't, we, we don't see that. That's not on our. We have unfunded accounts payable. Of twenty-two thousand dollars. Yeah, but I'm sa yes, but what I'm saying is, uh, we don't. I don't believe we have. I don't think it says any place on our balance sheet what our unfunded pension liability is, because that's handled through the, the through the uh, retirement board. Franklin um, Retirement um, Board. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. That's why it's not. On but we pay sure. into that. What's the number? Approximately half a million dollars. Well, every year, right? Every year. We're paying the uh, OPEB money every year. Well, no, we're not. Oh. No, that, that, that 500000 is actually going into a reserve fund, and we will pay that until 2033 or 2032. With the retirement money? Yeah. Yes. And at the end of that 2030, we will then supposedly have enough money in there to cover the retirees uh, pensions. So at that point, uh, it drops about three percent. It will drop, uh, and we will continue to pay into it, but it it will only be whatever the annual fee is. Fee is, yeah. And so we're going to pay money drops, into OPEP. That's the time every to year. Start well, and, OPEP. and then it will drop. So, and that's one of the things they said several years ago when OPEP came up. And I went to the meetings in Boston. Nobody knew what to do about it. And when they were questioning the governor on it, because the governor stands up in front and says, what do you got for questions? He says, personally, he thinks that the OPEB should be left so the legislature can study it, number one. And number two, he would prefer to see people wait until they pay off their retirement liability. And once that's paid for, start funding OPEB at that time. That's what he said. Start funding OPEB at that time. So right now we're getting jerked around with, oh, we got to do this, we got to, why do we have to do it? I yeah, who said not. we have to do it? Whatever it is, it is. And it's always overstated, whatever it is. I would say, I would prefer to wait and see. Seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. you, want, you want to go? I do. No, it's only five o'clock, you can't leave yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. I, I, I could speak to it for a while, but um, I think you've heard You're not going to change any minds. What's that? You're not changing any minds. No. We'll, we'll give you two and minutes so and no to talk more. To the bond. I'm no. not going to waste my breath. <laughs> Go. Um, yeah. I, just to your we need to talk to the bond people. Huh? Barbara I, said that she could not talk to the bond people because when we go out to bond, it's a, when they submit, their prices as a competitive price. They solicit three bids for a bond, or four. When the bonding company wants to bid on it, they bid on it. So it's the most competitive bond that we accept. So. And it's, and it's also based on a lot of factors, it, just how financially sound are you? And so it's not just how much we've put into OPEB, it's, it's a lot of different factors. It's like, I'm going to use an analogy that Barb used and then I'm going to leave. It's like asking, asking an auto, auto salesman 
if you were to come to them five years from now, what would, what would our rate be if we were to buy a car? I'm not asking for them. I'm not asking so, her to get the rate. I'm asking her to discuss with them how much of an impact, op whether OPEB is funded or not, what kind of impact that might have. You wouldn't know. Like I said, rate. there's yeah. a lot of factors that are involved, yeah. so it's impossible. Until been. No, I mean isolating OPEB, Bye. the policy. You don't come back. I won't. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See Thank you, all you next week whenever you decide to have a meeting. Yeah. yeah. By the way, you're doing a great job for us. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, I second that. <laughs> So we have heard one, two, three philosophies. What's yours? Jeff, you got one? I don't. Okay, Mary, you got one? I'm listening and learning. My only thought is that our financial people are recommending that we do it. And they've been working with the bonding companies. I know before I got done, the bonding companies wouldn't even consider it unless we put that on our balance sheet. To show well, I'm not saying it shouldn't be on the balance sheet. That's a, that has to be on the balance sheet. Right. But We're, you have to have a plan in place that you're going to contribute to it. Well, I think Jeff says so. As, as I understand, we, we have the second portion of what's required when we're voting on this next annual town meeting. Mm -hmm. We've actually voted to accept OPED, then we vote to potentially fund it, then we actually fund it. I thought it was a three step process. It, it goes on the balance sheet. The auditor, well, it, has, I last year. it has to go on the balance sheet to, to meet auditing standards. Understood. But we I don't have it was a three step that. process. We had to approve a policy, which is the next thing we had mm -hmm. to approve. Who says Doesn't that? Doesn't mean though? we have to. That's, I'm just saying, this is what we were told in that meeting. By who? By Barbara and okay. Brenda. Brenda. And okay. Carol. We had to have a policy. That was the next thing that the auditors were looking for, a policy. You didn't have to have any money associated with it. Okay, well, I, so. I don't know if they are or not. And, 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 I, don't uh, need, and I'm not, I have no clue. And, and, and I don't, I don't. What's your policy? philosophy? Mine? I, I was satisfied with 25000 And the reason that I was satisfied with 25000 is that we have the ability to pay it. Uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't affect our, it really doesn't affect the tax rate. If and we're taking it, out of free cash, I don't have a problem. Well, it does where it's going, and and it kept everybody happy. That's why that's why I was willing to accept twenty five thousand. I wasn't that's getting any, any complaints from from the administration or or from Wendy or from the board of selectmen, and so it's like okay, fine, let's do that, and then, but it, and that's where it's coming from. So and then someplace along the way, we're now up to thirty six thousand, and it's like, you know, if we keep screwing around with this thing. We're going to have Barbara in here saying we need 50000 Barbara's so already can... made the statement at that meeting, we need two hundred fifty. dollars uh, Brenda made the statement, two hundred dollars to $300,000. She made that statement. Yep. Uh, <coughs> we, we are paying out right now, I think the number was approximately $200,000 for retirees, retirees uh, benefits, right. health benefits. Health benefits so, I mean, in a way, that is funding. The retirees. You, you could fund that. You could fund OPEB with that, and then you turn around and take it away from it. Right. But you, we would. But there is there is an unfunded liability. I agree. And and somewhere along the way, you know, it makes sense to me at least that we do some funding. I don't like the the numbers that I'm hearing. You know, I think they're way out of whack. But you know, there's no. I'm, I don't have the ability to to uh, sit down and, and analyze what the actual costs are. And, and nor, nor did it was my intent to do so. My intent was to base it on something that you could actually mm -hmm. see or evaluate based on what insurance was. Maybe we should base it only on the retirees. That was the discussion I wanted to have. I based it on the total insurance. Well, actually, uh, actually, it's the it's the different. It's the people who are not retirees that were well, the people that we're putting the money in for. Right. So maybe that's what we should base it on. What whatever the thing is. Uh, I'm just saying, if we have a policy, if we have to have a policy, it needs to be based on something that we can see annually and have it automatically increase or decrease. Did you say if we have to have a policy? Yes. 
I'd like to know who says we have to have. Well, them. let me ask you this, I John. You, you, you. This is in this is in your uh, background. Uh, does it? If you were a twenty-year-old or twenty-five-year-old moving to town, and you stayed here for a long period of time, and then all of a sudden you saw your taxes jump because a tremendous amount, half a million dollars at this point, because of the unfunded pension liability, that's, those are, that's money that should have been paid years ago and wasn't. And we're doing the same thing with the OPEB funding. And so I didn't mind spending 25,000 bucks and putting it in there. Uh, maybe some point in time somebody will actually come around and tell us what a realistic number is, but nobody has said that, that what we get well, from But we are that. paying the OPEB as we go along, right? Every, every well, we're paying, no, we're, we're not. We're paying, not paying the benefits. We're paying the benefits. Yeah. We're paying the benefits, but we're not, not paying past, but past uh, the unfunded portion of it. No, we're not, but we pay it as if, as those people need the money, we give it to them. Right. Yeah, and, and, but they've already worked. Yeah. And I don't believe it. That's why it's on the balance sheet. We're obligated. And, I agree. And I don't think I should, I don't really want to pass this off to my kids and grandkids, at least in part. That's why I'm willing to pay for some of it. So. Particularly if we can take it out of free cash, even if it's not free. It is cash. So it's paid by the taxpayer. <laughs> it's paid by the taxpayers once again. It's still paid. Well, you take it out of free cash. They've already it's gotten just the, that much less free They've cash already gotten the benefits. The taxpayers have already gotten the benefits. The ones who were here before us. Uh, and they should have paid it when when it occurred. But we're talking like deferred maintenance, is this the same type of thing? No, it's not. It's you know, it's it's like I don't know. You change your oil, or your engine blows up. No, that's what I'm saying. Is it really like deferred maintenance? Are we just deferring the cost of no, a we liability pay until a later date? We're paying well, it. Didn't, we, didn't, didn't we're Barb say no, we could put the twenty five uh, two hundred and fifty thousand in there and then we could be paying the retirees through there? Yeah. If we yeah. put two hundred and fifty thousand a year. And yes. Think of it like look at the bond. Look at the balance sheet. We've got a bond on there we owe. For 5.5 .5 million, right? Yep. right? Yep. We're not funding that. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. You, every month. That's, that's the garage. Right. The every month garage. we pay it, right? Every year, yes. We pay the old PEB liability every month. No, we, no, don't. we don't. We're writing we checks. Pay, for, we pay retiree benefits, insurance benefits, and active employee. Yeah. Old PEB is neither one of those. But we're paying it. No, we're not. No, we're, we're not. paying their benefits. But when it comes to a point where we can't pay the benefits, is when why wouldn't we money. be able, why wouldn't we be able to pay them? Because it might be two million dollars a part of our budget. It is it every is. month. No, um, I'm talking monthly now. We write the check every month. Let's we'll say it's two hundred forty. Just like we write the bond every month. Dollars, huh? It's two hundred thousand. Now it's one hundred twenty thousand a month. And ten years from now, five years from now, it's two hundred forty thousand dollars. Well, let me let me put it this way. Let's assume for the moment. <clears throat> that you know, you were a, a someone who was in private industry, and the company that you work for did not provide any pension. And let's just say you were not paying into Social Security. So it comes, you come to be 65, 66 years old, and you say, you know, I've had it. I need to retire. How do you get paid in your retirement? What do you mean, how do you get paid? Do you how do you get paid in your retirement? You get a check. From whom? The company. No. No. They're not me. paying you any. Uh, well, there's no they, pay, they pay the pension administration. Right. No. I'm saying, you did, you. I'm saying you did you not work for a company and that didn't. Got. And I said you didn't have Social Security. Let's, let's do nothing. You were not paying into Social Security. Your employer was not paying into Social Security. Right. Your employer was we're not putting money. Pension. Oh, there it. was no pension. So at 65, how do you retire? Oh, you, you, you can't, I don't you, know. You can't. Oh, right. That's the point here. These people are retired, <coughs> and we promised them. You're talking the retirement, though. We're not talking open. 
Well, what do you think OPEP is? Insurance. It's insurance. It's the retirement, the insurance in your retirement. No. But not pension. No pension. No. We're paying the pension, too, 500000 a year. And we're paying the OPEP every year. We're paying the insurance. We're paying, these are expenses that have already one. been, that have already occurred. But the people that have left, it's and we the promised them health insurance. That's right. And now they're paying it. They've got yes. It. They got it. We're they writing the checks for those. we're paying them every year. Yeah. yeah. But we should have paid it when they were working for us. We should have said aside. They, is what you they didn't bring that up 20 years ago or 30 years That's ago. right. Well, they're bringing it up now. They're saying you need to start and putting it And now they're aside. trying, they're crying wolf. I still say a good philosophy is to turn around when our retirement liability goes down to start funding it at that point. I would generally agree with you, but I'm willing to put it in the $25,000 now. That's the... All right, I'm willing to we keep 25000 for this year. You got two votes. <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> going to get another one over there. He put his foot in his mouth, so he's going to vote for it now. <laughs> no, he, he said 1%, 2%, 3%, or 4%. Right, this is closer to 3%. Right. He will accept that. I've already said that. He said that. that. That's three votes. Mary, are you on? See, okay. that's four votes. What's the big issue? <laughs> 25,000, but no more this year. And we'll discuss it again next year. And we have not voted a policy, right? Well, that's what I think we're the That's policy. our policy. We're going to vote it every year. If, we, if our policy is we're going to vote $25,000 every year, and we're not saying that. Less. We're going to vote 25,000 this year, <laughs> and we're not guaranteeing nothing for next year. We're going to, we're going to, the select board has already voted to appropriate 38000 Now we'll go to the discussion on Tom and floor. What is our reasoning for 25000 Because Skip says so, and he's the boss. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you know what happened last year with the, yeah. the mosquitoes, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, and you're going to get up there like a mosquito and get bit. And, 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 and even though, he's ticked off. So out of curiosity, when the, what, was the, what was the vote for the... The, when the selectmen voted on the 38,000 or whatever the number was for OPEP, what was the vote on that? I just want to leave it. I just want you folks to know that I'm the minority leader on the board of selectmen. Uh, we didn't leader? notice that. We didn't notice that. that. It, yeah. was, it was two to one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you voted for the 38 or more? Yes, he did, right? You were one of the 38. <laughs> how, did, how did we? I voted against the mosquito. <laughs> so you're with us. Well, you know, it's got, it's, we can vote whatever we want, or not vote whatever we want, vote zero, but the town meeting, we, we, we just, it's going to get voted whatever the slot we vote. I, I well, think I would agree. As a board supposed to have a policy, if we do something like this for the policy... They've already that, done it. Well, they already did it. Oh, when you brought, brought it in, they just, they, you did it. They, they assume... <laughs> They, they, blame, they blamed us said for it. They voted us the it. responsibility for <laughs> developing the policy. Like I said, I'm a minority leader. But <laughs> well, so what could impact this, this if it's a percentage in what we should do and what we should have been looking at for several years now is to reduce our free cash. Yeah. Because everybody looks at that free cash mm -hmm. and everybody yeah, wants to spend it. Yep. And they come up with any and every reason to spend it. Mm -hmm. and as far as I'm concerned for a town, it's just unfair. It's not free cash, it's over taxation is what it is. You're requiring, you're, you're asking the residents of this town to pay too much in taxes. If you're going to play the game where you're carrying 1.9 million of free cash over for a year, I'm sorry, but that's just, that's way too much free cash. So and, let me, let me ask you this question. We, I was going to bring and, that free cash up. Okay. How do you reduce free cash? Reduce the tax rate to start off with. I think we don't set the tax rate. Right. No, I, I know we don't. Well, but we also, selectmen also, don't set the tax rate. Right. We'd have to we'd have to look at every line item budget and, and evaluate it relative to whether it's expended or not expended. Right. That's the only way you get your free cash. No. Yes, our yes, are yes, and no. yes, and no. Yes, and no. Who votes to revenue. use a portion of free cash to offset the operating budget? Right? Well, we, technically, town meeting does, but 
Who brings it up to them then? Who brings it up to them? I mean, I, I kind of see the same thing happening that happened with the ambulance service. Is that, uh, you know, we had, there were a lot of people who were upset with the amount of free cash that the ambulance service had. And it took a little bit of arm twisting to get it back. And, and there it was a kind of an easy fix because we just, you know, cut the allocations uh, from each of the communities to get that down to a reasonable number. Uh, same thing probably could be done with the free cash that the town has. Well, that's what we do every year. We yeah. balance the budget with it. Right. We, we do. And, and it's if, terrible. And, and I don't mind balancing the budget with it, so long as we understand what we're doing. But I don't know that we really understand what we're doing with the free cash. If and the budget it, increases a million dollars a year and we balance it with free cash, well, we don't have any more free cash. We're going to be out in two years. We're going to be out $2 million. Well, uh, it, it probably a huge tax rate increase. Or have a huge tax increase. With everything coming down the line right now, with all the requests and all the big ticket items that we have facing this town, and there's some big ticket items, I, I hope the residents are ready to see a huge tax increase. Because there's no, if, if we're going to approve all those, all those big ticket items, the tax rates are going to go sky high. Yep. And I mean, you have Frontier Regionals looking for money, and I know we only pay a percentage of that, but they were looking for 48%. over three million or something of that we're nature. Pay and we're going to pay 48% of that. Uh, and then and then you have the library that's looking for cash. And we're going to pay all that. Right, we're going to pay all that. You have a uh, sewer situation here that's huge. And then senior center. senior center, community center, senior housing. I know this has all been talked about, yeah, but now sure. we're also talking Sorry, about Lawrence. doing stuff in the center of town here as far as that goes. And that's going to be a huge item too. Nobody wants to address that. So you put all those together and all of a sudden you look at what you have, the millions and millions of dollars that you're facing, that this town is facing in a very near future, and something's got to give. You know, people complained after they voted for the town garage, they didn't realize the impact it was going to have on their taxes. And people that supported it, after the fact, when they saw their tax bill, they were complaining about it because they didn't realize how it was really going to affect their tax bill. And if people remember, we had like about a 9% uh, increase in our taxes that first, that first year. And I'm not saying good, bad, indifference, but the reality is it's going to impact your taxes and you better be prepared for it. Or we have to be able to learn the difference between wants and needs once again, and we have to be able to learn as a town that we can't say yes to everything. Every once in a while, we're going to have to say no. But that, you know, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that will disagree with me. That's, that's fine. Everybody has a right to their opinion, but that's my opinion. As far as free cash goes, the Finance Committee set a policy a lot of years ago to try and maintain 5% of the current annual budget in terms of free cash. Mm -hmm. You got a fifteen million dollar budget. I mean, you got to have seven hundred fifty thousand that you reserve in free cash. And it makes sense, John. I and agree. It makes sense. It makes sense to carry some free cash. You can't. You can't not carry free cash. You and have. The other to. dilemma that you have is working with the state because with the state they say, "Oh well, we just want to check your balances." So, oh, you got a stabilization account one point one million dollars. Oh, you got free cash another one point mm -hmm. one, one point two, one point nine million dollars. All of a sudden, they're looking at you saying, this is a wealthy town. So you create false images. Mm -hmm. People think you're rich, and you're not really rich. And there's a certain amount you need to maintain and run a town, and you've got to have town reserves. Mm -hmm. And right now, we're doing that. For a few years, we said, we'll accept a half million dollars in free cash to hold on to and not raise it. But should we be closer to the 500000 or 750000 of free cash now. We use that as a, a budget fluctuation thing where we can turn around and delve into there if we really need something or want something. Yeah. Well, for now, we should be putting more money into stabilization. I agree. I, I agree. 
uh, that's you'll see I'd coming forth capital improvement plan will be asking for another <coughs> when we have an opportunity to present we had, that was that was on the agenda for tonight too and we've got a few minutes to talk about it uh, capital stabilization last, or last year we put two hundred thousand dollars in the capital stabilization and I would like somebody to correct me if I'm wrong it was my understanding that the idea was to have a capital stabilization fund and that on an annual basis the capital improvement committee would take their numbers that they came up with and the funding source for that would be capital stabilization right that's what I was supposed now to if you come up with a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar and I don't know your, your capital actually budget. last night the, the committee came up with a with a five hundred thousand okay let's say five hundred thousand for for this coming year so five hundred thousand dollars and that's capital improvement Requests. Mm -hmm. Stabilization. No, no I want to talk about capital improvements. Requests. Oh, well, I'll, I'll have to get those numbers. I don't have well, let's, say, let's just say it's... It, it's a little... It's right off the top of my head. I've got the stuff in my car. Well, it, it's, it's not... At this point, it's not... A, my, the sure, point is... 350, but, I say. But there's only 200,000 that's available. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you're going to handle that. Right. So the question is... What do we do with capital stabilization? Do you want to build that up further and it, to what level and then tell the capital improvement committee, this is what's in there. We're going to put Sounds X like number of dollars, exactly. X number of dollars per year into this thing. Yep. And I, that was the, and the question is, how much do we want to put into it every year? Mm -hmm. With capital stabilization, we have a five or something. Five-year plan and some. The five-year plan. Well, we should be looking at the funding requests in each of those years. We are, and that's what we should be funding in a minimum. So that when we, we set a nest egg to begin with, now we got three hundred fifty thousand as available for this year. We need to put three hundred fifty thousand in the spending. We've got a nest egg or two. Whatever the next projected. Year is to say it's two hundred thousand. Well, we need to put we we put two hundred thousand to pay for that. So we need a better dollar value on our capital five year capital plans mm -hmm. and maybe ten year capital plans. So then we can plan how to how to fund stabilization. Right. I I think the, the committee's thought process last night was to kind of hit it hard uh, this year and possibly next for what we have coming down the road in that five-year plan. So my question will be, where is that money coming from? Free cash. Free cash. Obviously, well, obviously, they're looking at free cash. They want, the committee wants to hold on to that 200 that's in there now mm -hmm. and add an additional 500 and spend this coming year and to, to build up so you actually have uh, some funds there. So Why? Eight hundred and fifty thousand capital well, they'd be, money. Capital money. No, they'd be uh, yeah. seven hundred. No, eight hundred and fifty. Five hundred to go in there, and then three, the three hundred and fifty. Right. Well, right. Yeah. Be, so we're be less. Right. So my question goes back: Where is that coming from? Every year. Uh, no, this, no, this is just. No, I know, but what happens next it, year? It'd be well. Next year, you'd have to adjust from there. What I mean, capital planning must know what the what all the departments want for next year. Well, I don't have those numbers off the top of my head. When I saying, present. Right, saying, yes, yes. We have the numbers. We yeah, we have the numbers. Yep. Well, why would we overfund stabilization by $500,000 or $400,000 or something? Well, I think they're just presenting it to the Finance Committee, and that's for the Finance well, Committee to decide. I can see trying to of what's, of of what's appropriate. Make it level. Right. What's Pretty appropriate much level funding, so that right. you can, one year you can spend 150000 yeah. the next year you can spend 275000 but every year we're putting in a relatively constant number of dollars. Mm -hmm. Because our, right. you know, the budget, right. it only goes up 2.5% a year. Mm -hmm. So... Last year we put two hundred thousand in. I don't know. We put one hundred and fifty. We spent one hundred and fifty thousand out of capital, out of stable, and yeah, out of capital improvement plan was about one hundred and fifty. So, but well, that came out of free cash, right? One fifty. 
I know it did, and, and so did the capital stabilization. So but eventually, we, 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 should, we should be putting in something, and we need to, into capital stabilization, we need to identify what that needs to be, a year's worth of expenses, a, two years' worth of expenses, and then every year we, we want to try to fund that but with a constant amount. Now, maybe that goes up 5% a year for a few years, or maybe it goes up 2.5% a year. That might be, you know, so if we, it's $200,000. No, I, I but the town of we discussed last meeting when we went to that seminar, they know what their expenditures are for the, for the next 10 years. They know what they're doing, their capital expenditures are for the next 10 years. Who knows they that? Project, they, pro they also project. project their operating budget. They project their operating budget. So that they kind of project what the tax rate is going to be every year. Right. So, granted, it's a projection. It's but always a projection. But they, but they have some idea what's projection. going on. So my point we, is that We know exactly, pretty right. much exactly what the tax taxes that we're going to need next year are. I know. They go up 2.5%. Right. It's very simple. That's the, only, the only thing that that changes is, you know, if you do an override or debt exclusion. Well, you use free cash. Then you're not going to go, then you're saying you're not going to go up 2.5%. Right. Yeah. No, the, to fund the 2.5%, to, to, if it's more than 2.5%. Right. Well, that's, no, that's, that's, the, that's the, the issue that I want to discuss is that yeah. at some point. You know, we do not want an operating budget in its totality to increase by more than roughly two and a half or three percent, because that's what we know we're going to have our taxes increase by. Mm -hmm. But you got to you got to figure capital in that too. So it's not just the operating budget. Cap, as far as I'm concerned, capital is an operating expense, okay. with the with the exception of those items that we debt exclude. Right. The, the garage. Yeah. yeah. All right. You, I mean, yeah, you, you buy big, a, it you is buy, one big pot. You buy a pickup truck. You buy a, a dump truck. Those are, those are really operating expenses and. And you know, in, in, in the real world, you you'd buy those and you'd depreciate them over some period of time, right? Mm -hmm. Although you can, but we the are, federal government doesn't depreciate anymore. They you just they just take it. They just right. spread it out in the year in which you buy it. Right. We can increase it two and a half percent every year, but if our revenues don't increase by two and a half percent every year, then we're in trouble. But our revenues do increase if if we're willing to. Uh, well, you, we don't have a choice. If we spend the money, you then the ta then the taxes are going to increase by exactly. two and a half percent. Right. But if plus, our revenues plus, fall plus short, who makes up the difference? The taxpayer. But if that's a, because we have to have an override. Revenue is the taxes. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, that's only part of it. But it uh, is part of the taxes. Well, other than, and we talk about two and a half percent and stuff like that. We talk about two and a half percent, and I'll say it again: in actual dollars, though, when you look at your tax bill, you're looking at five percent. It went up four percent. Pretty close. The the town's taxes went up. Tax rate went up four percent. I would have to go back and check my taxes. Well, Sorry. you don't have to. You can go check down there because that's what they raised the rates by. Four percent. Last year, though, six percent. Yeah. How does that happen? So Can you question. get away with one two and a half percent? How does it? Because the debt it's, because it's the not debt well. No, the debt exclusions? no. It, it, all the all proposition two and a half says is the total number of dollars that you collect cannot exceed a two and a half percent increase over the prior year, with two exceptions. One new something called new growth. Mm -hmm. So if you get new growth, you can add it in, and debt exclusions and overrides. But new growth, you're going to tax that new growth. So well, that's, that's, there to, well, that's the point. The new new growth is actually the taxes you collect from new growth. Right. So, so what happens when? So that doesn't go come out of my pocketbook. Yeah. Well, yeah, it does. <laughs> what happens when Deerfield Academy buys a two million dollar piece of property and takes it off the tax rolls? Oh. Mm -hmm. Good question. The taxes do not go down. Right. You keep that. The amount of tax money that you were collecting on that, and let's say it was a hundred thousand bucks, that stays there. That's why the tax rate, even though even though we only increased by about three percent last year, or two and a half percent, really, that's why the tax rate went up four percent. Someplace along the way, 
because debt exclusion did not go up. The Actually, debt exclusion the went down. The grand last list year. goes down. Yeah. What's that? The total of the grand list goes yeah. down. Yeah, but the total of the taxes keeps going up. Right. Two and a half percent. Let's give my question. Sure. Um, if we were to have a debt exclusion for the two and a half percent, will that reset our, our, our value that um, we can go up again? The How debt, that work the debt, debt exclusion. That exclusion for that one year, and then you can go go back to two and a half percent a year. Well, debt exclusion is the debt exclusion is strictly for for the garage. For, for no, I mean, I, I mean, uh, two and a half override. Two and a half override. Is forever, right? Right. You so if you override or an underwrite, you, you override the first year. That resets your 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 base. Right. It does. Point, right? Correct. So you can override every year. You reset your, you know, all your taxes. You just continue to increase. Well, they could. That's you can you can you can do it. Does every four or five years they need to have an override. Right. You can do it. You can do an underwrite too. Okay. For what? But. I don't know that's right. You can reduce. You, you got can too much reduce money saved up. You can yeah. cut your taxes if you want you by can doing do, that. Yeah. Oh. So nobody is, ever does. Is, is it a good thing to reset your your base every three or four years? How, no. how, how do you like to pay? How do you like paying why more you, taxes? Why do you want to pay more taxes? <laughs> I think we have. We might not have any choice. Is my point. The point is this. The point is we to, have salaries going up. We have all the insurance. Going up, we have all of our fixed costs are going up. Mm -hmm. We have no control over this. We have no control over the salaries. We have no control over schools. We don't have any, you know, you, we're you, talking 75% of our budget. We have no control over What we have control over is the peanuts, the dollars, nickels, and dimes, and quarters. No, we do have control. Where's that DM? Uh, I was looking for it too. I couldn't find it. What you made it out? No. Revenue street? Not the wage thing? No. So I'm just thinking that you know, it might be best to have a two and a half over and maybe we'll vote for the increase. We we didn't get to this this thing here. Uh, yeah, that's right. But it, does everybody is have this? Revenue? What is it? What is it? it the revenue details? Revenue detail. Yeah, we'll have it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think you have this one all no. attached to it. Although you, we did get this before. Yeah. Tax calculation. If you can find the tax levy calculation, let's take a minute or two and just go through that. Because this is pretty simple. Yeah. Yep, I will, please. You want to make some copies? Yeah, no, I can just look on hmm? How many copies do we need of this thing? I'll take one. Kip, you want them? No. I got one. I got mine. Okay, so I sure, have three I got forms. Some okay. This is a sheet to be, prepared by huh? Governor. I'd like Sheehan. to miss that meeting. Just put it together as a start. It's the final. Did she calculate? Do you have one of these? That's who we Do you have one, John? No, this one here. I may need to do a couple more. You've got one. Mm -hmm. You've got one. Please. Thank you, Scott. So if, if you would, for a minute, just take a look at the, go back to the FY215. At the top of the, the top of the page, the first line in there, it says levy limit. Do we have to wait? Okay. 
Uh, in, in FY 2015, the levy limit was approximately $9 million. If you notice two lines down, it says add 2.5%. That's Proposition 2.5. And, mm -hmm. and then it says add new growth. We estimate new growth. You can see for FY 2019, we're estimating new growth at 85,000. These are assessors to that, right? Now, yes. yes and no. Okay. We argue with them. Right. Right. Uh, Brenda just did this one and didn't bother asking the assessors if you want to know. Right. Uh, mostly because every year they tell us 50,000 bucks. Right. And, you can see, and you can see that the new growth has been over $100,000 for it. So add new growth to that. And, and so the actual new growth occurs in the fall after you've already spent the money. So total levy limit is $9,317,000. That becomes the starting point for next year. So the levy limit calculation. And then below that is the debt exclusion, $550,000. That was, I think, the first year of the... Uh, Highway garage. Because that was a year and a half's worth of payments. You know? Actually, it, it, it may not be. Maybe this is the second year because it's only 550 It's down below what the detail is. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that was the first year. But, not, yeah, but. so, yeah, there may be. So that would have been, that would have been two years' worth of, of principal and one year's worth of interest or Maybe something like that. Uh, so you, you get... You can see that Frontier was paid off um, in 2016, so there's no more Frontier debt. The garage started someplace along the way, and you can see what the garage is, what's happening with the garage. And so that's basically, you know, a constant principal and whatever the interest is. And, and I guess the interest rate does vary somewhat, doesn't it? Yeah. You remember? Yeah. It will drop. Yeah. But even the rate varies in this case. So you get a total. School roof comes in. And we did not bond school roof. No. Uh, so we're paying this out of... Short-term uh, But But, it, yeah, it's short-term borrowing. But it still is debt excluded. It's still debt excluded. Yeah. And uh, so there's a number in there called excess capacity. And, I, you know, if... if uh, there's a member of the Board of Assessors here. They can explain what that is. I, I vaguely know what it is. Or, so one of the things that it is is when uh, one cent on the tax rate is about $6,000. So we're, we're, this, these are all estimates that are in here, and they will adjust them on an annual basis. There are no overrides, but you, you can kind of see what you're getting for your tax rate is increasing. And we could go in right now and calculate for the next 10 years the uh, tax levy, and we could throw in a figure for 2.5% just based on, you know, and, and that would be accurate. What, what gets a little inaccurate is the new growth. Now you could throw $100,000 a year in for new growth and and raise it 2.5% every year. It'd be pretty accurate. So you can pretty well tell what you're getting for taxes. It's not. <coughs> so that you know the total dollars available for taxes. And Barbara can tell you what the garage is going to cost us for the next 10 years. We know what the school roof is going to cost us. And in, in probably seven or eight years, we'll actually pay for that. Uh, and, yeah. But what we can spend is 11,285, well, what was that? No, what I was that's, say. that's the, that's the total plus number. 11, 285, 11, plus local receipts and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Plus, plus whatever we want. Okay, so if you want, if you want to take a look, that's where this, the next items come in. So at the very top, total taxes, the revenue detail, you get total tax dollars. Out of levy, yep. So you Here see the go. 11 million, 285, 886. So we have enough to pay right now. And then you got chapter 70, 
that's school aid, uh, charter school reimbursement, unrestricted general funds, you, and you've got a total at the bottom. Yeah, million four. Well, no, a million seven. And a cherry sheet revenues. Oh, yeah. But you, if you look back, uh, in 2015, cherry sheet revenues were $1.7 million. It hasn't grown a whole lot, has it? It does no. not grow. It doesn't grow. That's, that's where we have a problem with 2.5%. It doesn't grow. So state revenues aren't growing 2.5%. Their money comes in, but they spend it on what they want to spend it on, and it's not the town. Yeah, well, here's the, here are the they offsets. Below are the cherry, cherry seat sheet charges, and we get hit with those every year. Yep. And then there's a, there's a net cherry sheet, $1.436 million. So you can see back in 2015, <coughs> it was $1.5 million. And it's dropped sixty-five, actually seventy thousand dollars. And that's because of mostly education stuff. So. No, that's cherry sheet. No, I mean what we've lost in cherry sheet. Pardon? The reduction in school choice, charter school. Payments. Well, you're not seeing school choice in there. You're, that, that's that isn't even in there now. There's a. Well, we don't get it. That's we, why. Well, no, it's about five hundred thousand dollars. But we don't get that. Go right onto the school. Well, you, where you where you get it is supposedly the school reduces their. Right, but I'm saying yeah. it doesn't yes. show up here. Right, it doesn't show up here. Just the expense. Right. Yeah, that's right. They forgot to put in the mosquito district. That'll be in a couple of years. That'll be a couple of years. And then we won't have we we'll, won't we'll have to worry about this. And we'll have the tick district too. So well, a couple of years after that. Yeah. So. It's, it's, what you're saying is that, you know, we only have 1,600,000 that we can count on this year. Well, there are some, I'm not sure what these, the overlay is and, and uh, yeah. where that number comes from. The assessors, I think. But then if you look down with local receipts, these are all estimates. Yeah. Uh, and, and we've got 1.6 or approximately $1.7 million. The actual number, and again, you won't see the actual number for FY18. It's, it's in here at 1.56. It's going to be about $2.1, $2.2 million. And so we can spend. Well, and we do, but that's it's where we use free cash. Yeah, that's where free cash is. <clears throat> that's why we, you know. If we use all the free cash. So the actual number of dollars, for example, this year, it looks like we'll have about $11.3 million in taxes. That's showing there. Yeah. State aid is going to be about $1.4 million. It may be a little bit more because this is the first pass. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the governor's proposal. Yeah. The legislature, there'll be a couple more. The Senate will, or the, the House will do theirs, or the Senate will do theirs, and then the House will top them or, so call it 1.4. Local receipts, realistically, it's about 2.2 million that we'll actually have. Grand total, just a little under 15 million dollars. So those well, those are revenue. Point those point. those are the real revenues. There are some other numbers well, you if you look at. Hmm. You said it's, very it's not on there. So it's 1.68, right? Yeah, but he said realistically, because usually that's 80%. Well, so we'll, yeah, we use about 80%. Point. Okay. <clears throat> and the, again, these are estimates, and we won't find out what that number is for FY19 until no, a year and a half from now. Yeah. That's why the estimates. So that $600,000 is free cash. <clears throat> so it's, yeah, so if you look. Kind of free cash. On the, on the next page, there are some other funding sources, uh, and the grand total, give or take, uh, you get a couple of couple hundred thousand dollars extra, but the grand total is going to be in the 15, 2, 15, 3, 15, 4 million range. So that's what we have to spend. So less than last year. Well, maybe. Yeah. Well, how the hell is that? Up. How much do you get? 15.2. 15.2, right, if we use all the free cash, right? Uh, 
Is that what's happening with what, the free cash? No, there's one thing missing in the FY 2019. You're not seeing anything for sewer revenue. Well, you won't in here, will you? Yeah, well, you, you do see it on this. It's on the, it's, it's in there for every year but FY 19. Okay. Yeah, but if we look at just FY 19, the way I look at it, yeah. we've got on here, 14737 that is the op is what is going to be appropriated if it's all voted like it is on here. Yeah. I'm, I'd have Plus 814 for the skims and the reserve fund and all that. Which means we're going to need. There's a total shoot. somewhere. Where's the total? 14 shoot. I lost it. 14737. There should be a total on the fourth page. Well, you Four, add well the, four, 14, seven plus the eight. Plus the eight, 14, right. Yes. Whatever that comes to. Yeah. I can't. You're right. I'm getting fat fingers here. So. That comes to 15,551. Okay. And we're saying we can, we'll have, if we use, uh, I'm, no, I'm confused on the free cash. Well, the difference between those 15,268 two. is all we got coming in. And that 15,551 doesn't include capital. Right. You with me? Uh, I'm not sure if I am or not. 14,737, if we vote everything as presented here, yep. Yep. plus 814, scams and OPEP funding and yep. all the capital requests is on here. Capital requests is on here. The 14,737 plus the 814 comes to 15 and a half million. 15,551. Yep. What's, That's what, what we're going to need. No, what's not in there that you're not seeing is sewer. No, I'm, I'm, he's doing the... But sewer, there's no revenue for sewer either. Yes, there is. Whatever, whatever the expenses are, that's the revenue. Right, it just washes. That's it washes. <clears throat> no, sewer's not on the expending. No, no it, it washes. Is it on the so revenue? It, it no. washes. So it washes. Right, so it's not you in get, either one. Right. Well, yes, it's... it's, it, it's for example, it is in this uh, this number down here for FY18. Oh, I'm doing 19. I know. I just want to know how we're going to have for fiscal year 2019, what we're voting on every Right, week. exactly that point. I agree with you 100%, John. And we're going to be short 300000 bucks. Yep. Well, it's probably more than that, but that's all right. Based that's on these numbers. All the free cash. Pardon? And that's using all free cash, right? Yeah. I'm not sure I understand yeah. the free cash. Where? It looks like oh, okay. it's in the million of free cash. Where? Did you see that? Right here. Oh, see Certified free cash. We have 1.824. And this is what we have so we're available. Oh, we can save. We're going to keep a million of it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use million. seven. Where's the, where's the free cash number? Right here. Well, Down the bottom of the room. Here. No, the other sheet. This one here. The one that was handed out tonight. If we save a million of free cash, keep a million, we're going to be short sure 300000 Right? Well, some of your stuff is going to come out. Okay. So, so the free cash is 1.824. Brenda is saying that in order to balance this budget, we need to take 787000 Right. Right. A million dollars is still left. Right. Okay. But, you're I, always but thought, I say we should. I always thought when something well, was in parentheses, it was a deduction. It is. It's deducted from the 1.8. It is. It's deducted from the revenue. This okay. is revenues. This so. is revenues. Like so negative, negative. This is the negative, negative, negative. This is free cash withheld. If you look at last year, yeah. it was six hundred thousand right. uh, withheld. And yeah. They spent nine hundred ninety-three thousand. Gotcha. So <clears> but we're going to be short based on these numbers. Right, we're going to be short three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, then we increase free cash expenditure. Free okay, cash. whatever. I'm well, just no, saying, I'm just saying that's, that's what it is. That's, that's what, that's what it's I, presented. What I'm, well, what I'm right getting now, at. One position is almost 80000 And then we're at, well, it was told about 
seventy thousand just in just in uh, town department wage increases. The uh, yeah, that doesn't count the other just the school EMS EMS. So we used three hundred thousand free cash, and it's like last year. Yeah, yes. same thing. So then we have three hundred thousand left of free cash, four hundred thousand. Well, I think, I think what I'm trying to get across to everyone is that, well, yeah, that's right. What we should be looking at is essentially the total number of dollars that we bring into taxes, which is the $11,300,000. Mm -hmm. yep. The total amount that we have from state aid, mm -hmm. which is $1.4 million, yep. give or take. <clears throat> and, the, and local receipts, right? Two point two million, which isn't showing there, but that's the actual. No, that's what the actual number is likely to be. Why is it so much higher than yours? Because standard? we're only taking approximately eighty percent. So that gets oh, so, that's a, so this is a very conservative number. So yeah, it, keep, it keeps it keeps the uh, okay. Department of Revenue happy. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got, in essence. $14.9 million that we can spend. Add to that sewer. No, I disagree. Well, no, no, no. Now. I'm saying, look, if we're going to add sewer to the expenses, we have to add sewer to the But it's not in the expenses. It is in here. I, I not, in another, the, not in the 2019 request to call. I have another thing that I need to inform you, I think, at this point when we're talking this, yeah. is that <laughs> we'll, 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 just so people know, <coughs> with the, you know, be another step of the rollout of the Capital Improvement Committee, uh, we had uh, recommended for the library to uh, resubmit for next year a request of $633,000 for the plans. And so where just, are you going to get the money from? We just thought it was a little too early. And just so you know, uh, rumor has it that, in fact, we discussed it last night, that the uh, Finance Committee may be receiving an uh, email as far as an invite to get together with the Board of Trustees or whoever with the library. And uh, the Select Board, Finance Committee, Capital Improvement Committee, because uh, there was discussion that the library was going to bring that uh, to the town floor this year for the 633000 plus. So, so I'm just saying, so you're aware, so if you do see an email, you know what it's about. So I didn't want anybody. So, why, I don't, why so they didn't like the answer they got from CIPC. Right. So why are we, why are we giving up the 50% the state will pay? For that, for those, for that. As I said, as I said, the. I don't understand they, why they want us to give up three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Just throw it out and forget. We don't need it. Who's? Who? They're, what? they're not asking you to give it up. They're asking you to fund the whole thing in advance, uh, and then that expenditure will go on the no, balance sheet. You don't get reimbursed for that. Once you spend that money, it's gone. You only get funded for the. I think I think this will need to be discussed further, but we did have those discussions with that committee, uh, asked them, and our recommendation was to resubmit for next year because we thought it was too early, the request. Well, I don't think we I can't be done with that. Hey, another thing this doesn't have. Well, I just, too late now. This doesn't have the 500,000 capital stabilization in there. No, it doesn't. Then we want to put it in. So that's another. And it also it also doesn't have the uh, the selectmen's uh, what are, what are they calling what are you guys calling that a wish list no, the selectmen's wish list for nine hundred thousand dollars right incentives 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 wish list I like wish What's list that? better it's more accurate What's that What's the incentive Oh yes <laughs> Pay more taxes Buy more things Do more f What. What I, what I was trying to get across with this, it, and we do need to, it gets complicated, but it's not something that we can't come up with at the beginning of the year so that we actually know pretty close what we've got for revenues. I agree. And, I and agree. then yeah. our operating budget should be based on that. Should be based on those revenues. Right. That's a percentage. 
Yeah. Pardon? That, that could be a percentage. Of what? Of whatever the total revenues are or what our budget's going to be. 100% of the revenues. Right. No increase. Well, but it can't exceed, our budget can't Understand. exceed the revenues. Understand. So if, if our revenues were 2% less, less the following year, we can increase our budget to the new revenue protection. Well, but as we do this year, we know what we can do. Right. Well, we can sit here every week and say we can't afford it. Right. Well, we can't well, basically, afford it. that's exactly right. Uh, you got about $15 million, a little bit more maybe, before you add, mm -hmm. you know, if, if there's something that you could do debt exclusion on or two and a half override, right. uh, the, uh, whatever the schools want ought to be debt excluded, although I don't think the schools understand what a debt exclusion is. Yeah, but if you have a debt exclusion on the on just plans for the library, you have a debt exclusion for Frontiers Improvement. Yep. Um, right there, you're you're talking nearly two dollars on the tax rate. Right. No. Yeah. Well, it, and just using the figure that you said, if a penny is six thousand dollars, you divide it by the million dollars. You know, it's it does. Well, it it does if you pay it off in one year. So you're going to say that you're going to spread it out over multiple years? Well, if you're and then what happens when the library comes to fruition? And if you, if now you've got a nine million dollar bill, you know, then that's over twenty years, and that is going to be more than the yeah. highway garage. Yes. So yeah. oh, I agree. I agree. I'm not. So let's let's take the library for example, mm -hmm. and and forget that we're calling it. A, let's take just a nine million dollar building program of some sort. So. Even at today's interest rates, which are relatively low, uh, a $9 million project, the interest over a 10-year period, is going to be in the neighborhood. Well, let's, let's, let's just say it's 4% the first year. So you take $9 million, divide that by 20, that's $450,000. That's what you're going to pay in, in, in uh, principal the first year. And then whatever the interest is, four percent of nine million three hundred and sixty, so that's seven hundred and sixty thousand. Did I add that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's so, one and a half times what our current debt exclusion well, is. Well, that's 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 one, and, and six hundred thousand. Maybe it's six hundred and fifty, but just call it six hundred. Is a dollar of the tax rate. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing seven hundred and twenty thousand, that's a dollar twenty on the tax rate. And then every year after that, it will go down a little bit. Until you buy the next thing. Well, no, but I mean that particular... No, I understand. Yeah. Right. So, absolutely. Oh, you're absolutely right. But, I mean, if the town wants to do it, the town wants to do it. Right. They get the vote. They get the vote. Yeah. That's true. So, so it's... You vote for it, you vote against it, or you move out of town. Choice. <clears throat> yeah, and we keep, we keep doing it often enough, we'll look like Amherst. Right. Right. <laughs> where you get to the point where you're forcing people out of town. Yep. Well, that's, so basically, yeah, to that's basically what happened in Amherst is that the, those that's sitting in the middle may have been able to stay, but to the middle, middle down to lower income, they had to go. Maybe the people at the very bottom who are, who, you know, are getting some sort of subsidies through a housing allotment or whatever, uh, and the state demands that, that, that towns have a certain mm -hmm. amount of low-income housing. 10%. Do they have like yeah. the same percentage of people that are on fixed income, like senior citizens, as we do? Does anybody know? Your income fixed? In Amherst, huh? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> it's almost every town is similar. Is it? Pretty close. We, we, Elders haven't moved from They just the, get older. Just get older <laughs> and stay in place. And that's the Ultimately we pass away. Ultimately we gone and some young kid buys your house. <laughs> hopefully if tax is not too high. <laughs> and hopefully Deerfield Academy or somebody like that doesn't buy it. Yeah, they can buy a house. And the value goes up so you have rate goes tax just go down. Yeah, exactly. Well no, the problem of course is that tax rates go up because so we're in a predicament. Anyway. And, I, and I, my feeling is that 
we if we are going to start using most of our free cash and not keep the five percent, if it's forcing us to balance the budget, we then go for an override. Well, uh, I, the numbers are a little bit off, but Brenda is showing that we're carrying forward over a million dollars in free cash. Well, five hundred thousand there plus the where we're spending capital. Well, that's that's assuming that. It, well, the capital's was, on. The capital's on you at three fifty. Is that three fifty? But the stabilization, stabilization is it? Right. So. And that was. Remember that was a, well, a figure that came up with the committee. Six hundred no. something thousand dollars. Uh, but that will end up being a debt exclusion. So. So we think, we're need we're needing based on this. Will, will we be, need sixteen million. Oh, 051. So it doesn't have to be a debt exclusion that library cost. Well, I mean, what then we're going to get. It doesn't have to be. You think they're going to put it into a debt exclusion? Yeah, no have to, have to. 15268. Really? There's no money to pay for it. Yep. Yeah, there is free cash. No, there's, there's no free, there's not enough free cash to pay for all of this stuff. There's not enough free cash to pay for all of this stuff. Well, then at that point, I think it needs to get out there. But it's a shame that we're not having a pre-town meeting to get the word out where we are, what, we, what money we do have, what money we don't have, where we're spending it. Well, that doesn't say that we can't have one. Well. The selectmen aren't the only ones that can, can do that. When we come up with a number, when we approve everything, when we finish, we can come to our last meeting, Skip. Yeah. Is quick? Are we going to take... What we've come up with, I guess what we suggest, I recommend, what we voted, and compare it to the revenue and say we can do it. I we think can't we, do it. I, Where does it I go? Think, sure. I, no, I think we need to do that. And we have not we have not typically done that. It's been a problem. Uh, I think we do need to do that. And you know, one of the things that I was hoping we would get to is uh, at some point talking about capital <coughs> is saying, look, we're gonna put some dollars, whatever the number mm -hmm. is. And that that should probably increase two and a half percent a year, and you know while it may change at some place along the way, but if we budget that and it's two hundred or two hundred and fifty thousand bucks, whatever the number is, it goes into capital stabilization, and that's what the capital improvement committee has to fund its projects. Mm -hmm. If if you have something like the library or another building that comes in, yep, then you obviously would need to go with a debt exclusion to fund it. Mm -hmm. And if the town votes the debt exclusion, fine. If they don't vote it, then it doesn't get funded. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, if you've got a budget sitting in here uh, of $15.5 million, and all you've got for revenues is $15.2 million, then you've got 300000 that's unfunded. I would like to see the selectmen put that on the town meeting as either a debt exclusion or a two-and-a-half override. And if, it, if the town passes it, fine. If not, then the cuts are made someplace. Right. So, you know, we've basically got two numbers out here. And I don't know if this is legal or not, but you've got the numbers that add up to what you can afford, and then you've got the numbers that add up to what you want to spend. Mm -hmm. and, if it, and if this doesn't pass, then this is what we go back to. Sounds simple. Makes sense to me. It's a sure. Right now, we're short. Who will Based tell, on the revenue detail, we're short 800000 bucks. Who will tell the town? If, as an example, somebody comes and puts a, a ballot question right and gets a number of signatures to put a ballot question on it. No, not 800000 And it has a value of $700,000. No. Um, if sure, it's voted early enough, it's already counted part of the budget, and then it doesn't it matter whether it's counted early enough or counted late. It's counted eventually, total. We'll, it's eventually we're going to have to at the end of the night we will come up and we put that motion together. Right, that, the sum of the total. Yeah, and it's like we don't have the money we to fund have, this. Okay, so then that's that's what I'm getting at. There, there could we could come to that point, the town meeting. Yeah, and what happens then? I don't know. We've never come to that point. I know. <laughs> you've been, you've been around longer than I have. What, what what's ever happened? It's not well. We've never got. Never has. Yeah. Um, but if if you 
they vote, they have to say where the funding source is coming in the motion. So it would have to be a motion set by whoever presents the article right. where they're going to take the money cash. from. If, you know, we don't have the money, it'd have to be a debt exclusion or a proposition override. But and you have that, to vote that on that. That's decided until after people vote well, for But the, the selectmen are the only ones that can put a two and a half override, and right. I think a debt exclusion also. Right. And if they don't put it on there, right. it doesn't pass. No. Well, if they don't put it on there and if they have to vote for it anyway, it's a separate ballot to vote either one of those. So. It's going to be interesting. Could Skip, be. Can't, can't your board change the numbers now? I mean, uh, if you s see that you're not coming up with this, I know that there's already gone through a process, but take that uh, there's like $30,000 that, you know, in the highway budget for road material, and we have over a million dollars um, of Chapter 90 money and that new truck. Between those two things, it's $250,000 alone. I, does the finance committee don't do that, or we all we do is recommend? Yeah. Right. I don't That's know. We Should we decide where the services no. get cut? Yes. I think it has to be across the board. No. Well, it, no. no we a, have to. We have to decide on an individual by individual budget, and we add it all up. If we find out there's not <coughs> there's not enough money, then I guess you know you go to the selectmen or you go to the schools and say, hey, look, we got a problem. Yep. Now the schools are going to go. Uh -huh. Oh, too bad. <laughs> we did the I best mean, that we could do. We've, we've gone to, <coughs> to town meeting and tried to get budgets you cut. You lay people happen. off, whether it be the school or the town? No. We, I, frontier, we have no control over that. Oh, three towns vote. <coughs> yeah. If three towns vote it, then we got to pay it. We pay it anyway. It's the only budget we, educational budget, we really have to play with. It's a different. Elementary. And uh, if you want to know what happens, go look at go look at Sunderland. Uh, was it five yeah. years ago? Yeah. How many times they've tried and they had to cut their town services? Well, they they did. They, did. they cut town <laughs> services and they cut the school, the elementary school. Five yeah. years ago, they, had, they lost them two and a half over. So I mean, that's that's the reason that and I that you know I think we need to take a good hard look here. We may be able to get through this year even with even with a you know well, an unreasonable request. We won't next year. If we did next year, we won't the year after. That will come back to haunt us at some mm -hmm. point. Well, some point. I, I, think it, yeah. I think what we received the other night was a revised budget from that one department. Sets the tone for them to have the, that ballot question mark on. Mm -hmm. Look at me, I read well, the library came back with a reduced budget, drastically reduced, after we asked them. The only department that has done that. Well, they yeah, went from 17% to 7%. That's so a 10% cut. But they, yeah, but they, the were, they were high to be... asked by this committee to take their budget back and look at it again. Have we asked the other ones? We, we did hold a few. We held and, a few only and, because And we salaries. requested more information. We, I was going to say, we, the budgets that we've gotten are not the problem. Budgets are those ones that... We haven't gotten. And, and then, you know, the, the, uh, the new department or the new uh, planner, planner. I mean, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, uh, we all know that salaries are give or take, 80% of your budget. Uh, how do you control salaries? You, control, you really control salaries two ways. Don't add any new positions first. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest expense. Yeah. And number two, you control it by, your whole, by keeping a, a fairly good hold on your cost of living increase. So it, it's that, it's, it's really, when it comes down to it, it's the top line. And we can move that top line back a little bit by hanging, by those cost of living increases. Before we forget, we can we set a, a date as far as yeah, what you when you want the capital improvement committee and skip? Well, look, we've got next next Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday schools, is Frontier. Frontier. Is that 7 o'clock? 6, I six. believe. And it's the same with the elementary school, 6 o'clock on right. Wednesday. 
So those are the public hearings. Those are the public hearings. And so we once said March seventh, which is Who's Thursday. March seventh is Wednesday. March no. one, Wednesday the sixth. No, no, Tuesday the Tuesday the sixth, and Wednesday the seventh. Frontier is right the sixth. It is. It, yeah, and it's Tuesday. The Deerfield Elementary is the seventh. So Do are we meeting one? prior to those, or we just come up with our own questions? Um, we're going to do a consolidated list of questions. I, I, should. That's a, yeah. they, I, I would. I would really like to see once. I was. I was hoping we could get it together before uh, Frontiers meeting, uh, but it would be nice, I think, to get the selectmen and finance committees from all four towns together to talk about what where everybody stood. Yeah, I can't do it before next Tuesday. We can't do it before can't next Tuesday. School budget. What's that? Here's my frontier question. No. I don't want. It. You're yours. You. Well, I think okay. it would have to be a committee. I think the chair needs some. Skip. We didn't get the elementary school. Budget, we haven't right? got the elementary school budget. How can we look at it to generate? How can we generate questions? You can't. <laughs> they haven't voted it yet. They will be coming to this committee, though, won't they? At some point, they had some point after the hearing. After the hearing. Right. After, after yeah. the hearing. After the hearing. Oh, it's their, it's their budget. Well, they it's kind of just kind of shutting the door hearing. after the horse left. And well, no, no, they've well, been, no, they've been coming here. They've been no, we those. actually went there. They, they, yeah, but last year we had them in here. They wanted to come here. We just haven't given them. Yeah. They came in last year. Yeah, they they did. If you remember, mm -hmm. they came in here last year. Patty and uh, Lynn came in last year and a couple of people that negotiated and uh, Ken came in also yeah but we haven't given them we haven't accepted their invitation for them to come right. so the public hearing is it for us where's the high school hearing over at the high school yeah yeah and when is that Tuesday Tuesday at six six and the elementary school is Wednesday at six seventh Wednesday at six o'clock. Yeah. So when is your CIPC meeting? Well, Skip, meeting? Skip and I have talked about doing it. Uh, <coughs> When's our next meeting? Wednesday, until we got the notice yeah. from the school yeah. at five thirty, before right. our next finance so, committee. So when do you want the next finance committee meeting? Where's the elementary school one. That to be Thursday. That's that day. Hmm? No, that's to be Thursday. Well, at the elementary school. Is Thursday all right? I'll, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just put out an email, okay. and for the people that can make it from the finance committee, uh, and you'll post that as well, a meeting. Say, yeah, when, when are you posted as a joint meeting? Uh, or we'll post two meetings, whatever. Right, well, what I, time? What's good for <coughs> finance committee? 5.30? Yep. When, Thursday? Thursday. I'm not able to come any of that week. What? My niece is here from Texas. So that would be the 8th? Yeah, right, and the two yeah. girls. <laughs> so Thursday the 8th at 5.30. Skip, you'll post that because it'll basically be uh, Thursday uh, right. 8th. It'll basically be a finance committee meeting. I'll have, I'll have post both of okay. finance with CIPC. And, right, we'll be just invited to present, so. You'll have them post both. I'll Skip. have them post okay, both. Okay, thank you. I'll send out an email to the uh, yeah, approving committee, and whoever makes it can make it. How long? How long will we need to talk about? I, I you know, I, it's pretty straightforward, and it's pretty limited <coughs> as far as what was approved, and unless you have a lot of questions, I think we could probably do it in maybe half an hour, or maybe less. How are we going to fund the five hundred thousand? Right. Now it's going to be, be the right. Well, and again, that remember that's just a number thrown out with the committee. There were several numbers thrown out. What's from the, the committee. what's the actual capital improvement? Three fifty. Three fifty. Three fifty. What is it next roughly? <coughs> next year, do you think it's three fifty again? I can't remember off the top of my head. I know there's <coughs> obviously there's some major expenses even with the, could, even with the wastewater treatment. Could we get a copy of the church? Copy of the, of the plan that you've got, and we'll just send that out so that everybody has a copy of it beforehand. 
I can yeah I can ask. Give uh, it to uh, Brenda. Probably could okay. send that out. Okay. She, she has a spreadsheet okay. on her computer, so she could probably email that out. So I could want to be included in that too. Sure, I would think so. We can do. We can do. We can ask the selectman too. Okay. Can you include the truck. The two twenty. Yep. Did you approve the truck? The two twenty. No, it was uh, two o five ninety five. Police. The answer was yes. Lease or purchase? Pardon? Lease or purchase? Purchase. Purchase is what was recommended. Reason for that too. Yep. Which I can we'll hear. Explain. We'll listen. Right. Okay. I'm going to put together a little spreadsheet that shows money that we could come in and money we need. Excellent. A little summary. I, I was going to say, if you want, I'll put the. Uh, the revenue side they could have right together here. well there's the no things. yeah i know there's some i want to email me what you want to yeah. change on here right. or on here uh, yeah well tell me tonight. Oh. Well, i don't know what they are i haven't done the calculation yet i, I want to see what the actual i want to get a five-year running total of actual numbers for uh Local yeah, receipts. Spreadsheet you have doesn't have all of the expenses in it. <coughs> Want this thing here? No, I mean for the um, line items. On here. There's no revenue. Oh, no, that's not on the expenses. So, can I have a motion to adjourn? I don't know so what we'll, we'll, Is there a second? Seconded. Uh, all those in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? It's unanimous. Are you going to the two school hearings? Yeah, we'll probably try to make those. And then we meet the eighth. Yeah, and then we meet the eighth. I'll email everybody the uh, person. Uh, oh, did I give you back that? Or do you? I'll email you. Yeah. Here. I have that. Okay.